Hello, hello there guys, how's everybody doing today? Let us check who we have in the house already, jeez, we have a bunch of peeps, what's up Free Kick Blaster, FKHB, how are you doing? Sure, why not? Been a while since I saw you here. What's up dude, Thanos the Salty Baker, <laughs> that's a cool name. Uh, everybody's having some interesting names here today. What's up Strikey, <laughs> I was the first off, fair enough. How's everybody doing? We're doing just fine, what's up Bob, uh, Donut Cup. Devil Boy, Abdullah Khan, Franco, hiding dude when in the stream starting approximately right about now. <laughs> What's up, Hassan? Uh, did I drink the apple juice today? No, I ran out. <laughs> Fresh out of apple juice today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Just some nice apple juice yesterday, though. What's up, Zane Smith? How are you doing, dude? And yeah, so today we're gonna be having fun without three stars. So we're gonna have like Quake and where's our Nick? Where's a three star Nick? There we go. And with that, we also want our Deadpool. Now that that's sorted, I will be having some fun with my. Sunspot, even though I have suicides, I think I'll manage okay. Wait, I don't have a three star sunspot. Hmm. Who knew? Okay, so no sunspot three star. Okay, it's good, good for Gilly. It's good for a lot of stuff. But yeah, she is definitely good for guillotine as well. Finally got my five star morning star. Is she worth Plus of Acting Gem or keep it for Semi Supreme? Kind of depends on you if you're willing to. If you're willing, uh, to ramp it up, then yes, because uh, Morningstar does have quite heavy ramp up. Also depends if you run suicides often and stuff like that. Uh, but she has really great potential once she's ramped up. It's just quite high difficulty level to do so. What's up, Heisey? How are you doing, dude? How do you do at New York Comic Con? Heard some cool stuff about you there. Everybody seems to love you. You're like Mr. Sunny personality there. Took my five star thing rank four. I have no eyes or gold left. I'm 300 po points away from getting the fourth milestone level up point. You better go get some eyes then. <laughs> What's up, Get Alive, Lawrence Clark? MS benefits from rank five. Yeah, Monix definitely benefits from rank five. Can't kill Rogue in variant 3.1? Well, I made a video about that, uh, which might help you. It's on the channel. If you type... Oh, one sec. Let's focus. If you type in kind of like 3.1 or Rogue KT1, something like that, it should come up here. Yeah, just type in Rogue KT1 and the video should pop up. There we go. That's sorted and done. You mean drunk personality? Well, I don't know how drunk you were, but uh, personality nonetheless. Hey, at least everybody remembers you and mentions you, so that's something. And they do it in kind of like a good, positive light. No apple juice today? No. Woke up slightly dehydrated today, so I'm like, no, nah, I, I need to get this stuff in order. <laughs> okay, so for this lad, let's... So a lot of tech champions here. I mean, I might grab an apple juice later. Who knows, but not yet. Not now. I mean... If I want to do that, I need to go get to the store, though, because I was lazy today and I didn't. Why are you here? You have an essay to write? Because this is better than essay. Who knows? Maybe you will get inspired here, so... Oh, I messed up. I messed this one up. There we go. Let's go. I thought I'm gonna get to level 2, gee, yikes, that's not good. There we go. Oh yeah, there, thank you very much, Tim. Big blue. 
listen to your power control video and drive to work this morning solid work mate thanks lawrence uh yeah i i am gonna make kind of like a small series from those videos out i think uh like power control casual questing champions and stuff like that and then uh towards the end of the year i will redo my like top champions of the classes and stuff so that's kind of the plan there don't have any energy left, you don't want to spend units, saving for willpower. Mm. <laughs> well, you have, kind of have to, or then you just need to wait and be patient, I suppose. But think about it, oh. If you cannot do it absolutely, right, there's like no way, chance that you're gonna get to that fourth milestone unless you spend that refill, then it's worth doing it because you get 25 units back anyways, right? Oh, I thought we were gonna kill it. Oh, done. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be here in 40 minutes and so, for, so for sure. Have you done the dishes yet? No. <laughs> That's gonna be job for either late night today or tomorrow morning before my girlfriend gets back. What's up, DJ Digby? How are you doing, dude? Cause yeah, my girlfriend's getting back tomorrow. A lot of tech champions on this class. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, finally, that poison's on. Two neuros. Three neuros plus a poison there. Ah, sorted. Super easy. What does Gwenpool's Awakened Ability do? Uh, for every hit on your combo meter, it reduces opponent's defensive ability accuracy by 2%. Also, puts a cap on maximum amount of damage you can take from special attacks. So, basically, enables you to tank special threes and stuff. Does your girlfriend hate you playing MCOC? Uh, yeah, quite, quite, quite. That I think that's a fairly accurate statement there, yes. My third six stars Drax. Oh, dude, sorry to hear. That's definitely not a great pull. Grinding for suicide right now. Should I put one point in each aspect and then upgrade them? No. Max out first one. Uh, no, yeah. Just, just pick which one you want to focus on. I recommend unlocking double edge first, then going to other one. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Yeah, Doc Ock is not a bad pull in my opinion, definitely. Because you, you will notice that more and more recently that improved power gain has lured its ugly face in the contest. Combined with like Doctor Strange and stuff like that. And he's like the best answer for that. So it's only a matter of time where it's actually going to be part of like meta game in Alliance Quest or Alliance Wars as well, I think. Oh, come on. Really? <sighs> Which? Kate Blanchett. <laughs> and Latvia, sir. Dr. Doom is happy for you. Thanks, dude. I think every spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend who doesn't play the game hates the game. Yeah, that is probably statistically, well, impossible, but close to it, probably, yeah. Hey, man, do you think that Winter Soldier is worth rank 4 with Killmonger, both 5 stars? Uh, if you have, like, that skill 2015 gem, then yeah, for sure. When you, if you trying or wanting to invest the actual kind of uh, tier 2 alphas in him then no I'd say no when the vote for the buff it should be today at some no wait it's Friday it's Friday yeah it's on Friday what's up Akashmar how are you doing by the way welcome to the stream the vote for the buff is Friday all right I forgot I need poison immunity for this fight well, I'm just gonna have to hope and... We're just gonna dash away from this guy. Let's get a few more. 
prowess. That also puts us at level 3, perfect. Fifth prowess, wonderful. Let him be unstoppable, don't care, let's go. Yeah, an amazing man, forgot poison immunity, have to guess. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> well, if you don't let him pop those things, it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, see, we, we, we were just fine. Just needed to be a bit more careful. I used 2015 German Winter Soldiers and pulled him as a 6 star the next day. Uh, yeah, I have duped Winter Soldiers 6 star as well, but it's still, like, I mean, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> I got tech rank up gem 45 already. Got ghost rank 5. My options are undo, dark hawk, sentinel. Rank 3, I got 6212. So use rank 4 and then the gem. Or use on stacky. Or rank 4, duped. Um, uh, is your sentinel duped? If it's duped, definitely go for sentinel, mate. They did not release Colossal Old Man Logan buffs yet. Uh, it should, according to them, now be next month. Havoc, yeah, Havoc did some cool stuff there. Honestly, like, the thing about those uh, Colossal Old Man Logan buffs is I have pretty much forgotten what their abilities are gonna be now, and I just don't care anymore. Like, it's been so long, kind of thing, that I'm like, nah, whatever, like. It's just so sad as well, in a point, kind of like. That is something everybody was looking forward to. And it took so long that I'm at this point I'm like, yeah, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? They were doing something nice that had a lot of kind of hype and enthusiasm by players in that, and the hype has completely died now. There we go. Yeah, uh, rank up gems are though something that you can use in them. But uh, yeah, those buffs didn't seem that kind of game to me. When you're gonna put out that 6 star opening with? I put out the 6 star opening with today, Delver. Like, Alliance War Season 12 ended, so I opened all of those rewards in today's video and I opened uh, featured 5 star and uh, 6 star crystal. Yeah, I think my rocket is SIG 40 or SIG 60 as well. Let me check. I have Luke Cage at 660 for sure, but let's check where is my rocket. Sentinel for sure is awesome. Hey, why Cap Marvel movie didn't cut out for high damage champ list? Because it is kind of high damage, easy to use in quest champ list. That, and her first fight, you still need to kind of like parry a lot and use quite a bit of time. My idea with the entire list was that, that those are the champions. You can take in a fight, basically button mash and hit the opponent and win these fights easy, quickly. Th those are the champions that you want to use, for instance, go farm your tier 2 or tier 3 basic catalysts. Captain Marvel doesn't really fit in that quest because you've, every time you enter that quest, you have to parry X amount of times in order to unlock her damn output. Now, if you bring her in like somewhat, let's say, uncollected some harder quests and stuff like that, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, Hyperion is a good option, but... Uh, again, I I was trying to stick to the champions. Hyperion is kind of like in the same boat as Sunspot because you do want to drop your heavy attack, then you do want to drop your like special attack somewhere. Uh, not, not as much as Sunspot, but still kind of like similar idea there. I just wanted the champions that enter the fight and do nothing and hit hard, kind of thing. That is what I want. I didn't want champions that only rely on some specific mechanics to unlock their damage, like Hyperion spamming heavy attacks. Because his base damage is bad and his crit rate is bad, and then you need to like drop multiple heavies and then you can get the damage up. Which isn't the hardest thing, which is still great for questing. But that wasn't the point of the list. Because I could have like the greatest damage dealers overall. That's a different kind of list. Or like great damage dealing champions that accesses that damage easily then there would be like Nick Fury and Captain Marvel in it so on and so forth uh, but yeah I know it's pretty easy but again I wanted just it, it's not much easier than Archangel it's exactly the same as Archangel kind of thing but Archangel does it 
in my opinion, quicker kind of thing. Like Chorus, exactly, that, they are the kind of champions I want in that list. I didn't want for, like, Massacre any bats to be ignited or uh, Call of Duty and any damage on top. That list is for champions that enter the quest and do damage without anything kind of like too specific. Champ yeah, as simple gameplay as possible with as much reliable damage as possible from get-go. Okay, so where's my Rocket Raccoon? Yeah, he's 40 now. 40, not bad. <laughs> nice Iron Fist dupe. Leave me alone. It's horrible Iron Fist dupe. I'm not talking crap about Massacre. I love Massacre, right? I actually spoke about Massacre in my video. I told everybody that I do find him great and fun and quick. But again, he's a champion that needs to ignite that bat at the beginning, which for many people might not necessarily always be the easiest thing to do. And as well, that is not what that list is for. Igniting the bat or entering the binary or building up some sort of charges and stuff like that is not what's intended in that list. Hella, uh, Hella was one of the first champions I reviewed in my Impractical But Fun series. Yeah, he can, she can do some insane damage, dude. You want to check that out, but it's not the easiest thing to execute, and there's like zero utility in that. Plus, it's fairly skill intensive process. But she's not the worst. Well, she's nothing spectacular, but there are worst champions. At least she has that one thing. She has something that kind of like sets her apart from, let's say, Drax or whatever. I'm really good at hitting opponent's locks unless I'm trying to. Yeah, that is a kind of like common theme in between quite a lot of people, really. <laughs> even even I have noticed that uh, quite often <laughs> when I try to, it's not as easy to get to the opponent's block. Hell has amazing synergies. Yeah, her synergies are quite cool. That survive synergy. Yeah, basically, Hell is also good for synergies, like with Heimdall and with Angela and stuff. So. Yeah, she's, she's not, not like the extraordinary pull that's gonna make your account amazing. But she's definitely not at the bottom of kind of like tier list either. With Masaki, if you get ignited, the battle is over. Yeah, uh, he does do a lot of damage really quick. I do know that. I made Masaki review Bob as well, so don't you start kind of like throwing shade on uh, what I know or think about Masaki. <laughs> I have a rank 4, 5 star and 6 star. <laughs> have this thing with parry. I can parry consistently, but when I really need it, like AA, I don't know, I miss them a lot. I think that's kind of like with everybody about hitting opponent blocks or nailing intercepts like the easiest way way to nail the intercept is when you're absolutely not thinking about it or not trying then you just kind of like go for it you don't need to make a conscious decision to go for it therefore your reaction speed is quicker and you typically do nail them uh, but when you kind of like forced into the situation where it is like you intercept now or you're dead uh, you quite often fail just because it's you and your nerves that are kind of like slowing you down and then quite often that makes all the difference when it comes to parry or intercept or whatever. Yeah, Hell Angel synergy can be used to basically make your one main kind of guy death proof. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely not the worst kind of like bit. I do have Ghost my second Light Strength 5, still learning to phase, but yeah. She can help with synergy. Uh, yeah, yeah, she can. And ghost, uh, I have a ghost video kind of describing how I learned to play ghost. You might want to check that one out. Because it, it didn't come to me easy. Uh, there were definitely a lot more kind of people who learned to play ghost uh, much easier than I did. For me, the biggest problem, again, was in my head. Because letting opponents hit at you while you just stand there seemed unnatural to me 
So it was kind of like my brain was telling me that this is the thing to do. And every single fiber of my muscle memory was kind of like dodge, parry, do something kind of like don't stand there, like don't let them hit you. And there was like this quite big conflict in my head whenever I was learning with ghosts. So it definitely took me a while. It took me like much longer than most people. That just because I have the basics of this game so kind of like nailed in my muscle memory, it's quite often hard to fight against it. That's why I suck with Proxima, yeah, that's why Proxima is kind of like high pressure champion as well, I think. What is the next basic green champion? Not a clue. <laughs> Sorry, I, I generally don't. Yeah, uh, once you get used to them dashing at you and once you kind of get used to the timer that you have, it's much, much, much easier to play Ghost. Like now that like I can play Ghost pretty much effortlessly. Obviously, there is the thing about launching the special attacks without Wasp Synergy, which is another thing you kind of have to learn. But yeah, uh, it's not that hard anymore. Human Torch next base screen. Oh, cool. Who knew? I mean, I just took my Human Torch to rank 2. In case you didn't see that video yet. Just now, literally an hour ago, or less than an hour ago, ranked up my Human Torch to rank 2 as a 6 star. What's up, Dead End King? What would be an estimate for... <laughs> you need... I don't know. Uh, guys help, it, help out the guy. <laughs> Who does arena? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's gonna be the highest champion in demand. Because he's not like not one of those basic meta staples. What do you guys think about man thing and all the footage so far we have seen? Ooh. This Tanky though, isn't he? There we go, that should finish off. Very underwhelming, he should be one of the most... Yeah, uh, yeah, underwhelming seems to be the common kind of like outlier of the <laughs> character review. Yeah, uh, I didn't even know he f particularly fills any niche, right? Like legit, I, I'm kind of like trying to think of use for him. I don't think there's anything he can do that some other champion doesn't do better, so... Bugged. <laughs> Threaten to boycott see his channel at Hulkbuster. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm surprised he's not XL. Yeah, many people are surprised. It's kind of... It's funny because there's that comic book cover, like the giant man thing, and then there are like these memes now made of where the giant is crossed off and is like the regular size man thing or the, <laughs> the reasonably large size man thing or something like that. Like him a lot as a character, yeah. I think they could have done so much more with him, because he should... He just should be more. He, he represented him and so much for so many people. I'm gonna be like honest, uh, it's not my particular, particular kind of like favorite of the comics. Uh, but I definitely see how much love he gets from so many different people across the community, kind of like that he's a really beloved character. And so it's kind of sad to see uh, him just being like, meh. Two neurons. Very good. There we go. Anything that man thing can do, Dr. Voodoo or other Mystic Champs? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, pretty much anything he can do, like, there are more champs that can do better. I think he's like biggest actual kind of like addition to the kind of champions this game 
is that he takes no extra damage from crits, which will make him an annoying defender on certain nodes, I think. I think he's just gonna be like one of those annoying champions. Not particularly hard, just annoying in a long fight. Do I think Aegon will be good for Abyss? Uh, possibly. There is a question of how many hits you're kind of be, gonna be allowed or permitted, because they will change up the enrage timers, and instead of the, them relying on amount of time that has passed to, like, change the modes they'll be relying on the number of hits you have landed on opponents as far as i can understand so it might be that he's actually not that great because aegon at his base does not hit the hardest he shined through because he hit quite hard but the damage output was extremely consistent there are no huge kind of bursts and the fact that he was unblockable and could stop away and all that stuff what do I think of Rogue? I think she's fantastic. I love Rogue. I have made Rogue review. There's a Rogue uh, impractical but fun uh, bit as well. Uh, I think she's underrated champion. I think she needs a bit tweak. She needs like a synergy or just base attribute ability increase of her uh, buff steal thing. If that timer would be like two seconds longer, she would be so much better. Is it a waste of uh, units? Ah. Uh, Kind of, but in s these months, if you're struggling, you might as well go for it because there are these daily events that take a lot of energy and other stuff. So, uh, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world at all to invest some of your units and energy refills. You force our Elza from the first round, and for sure, I don't know. Uh, Elza, I, I'm not a big fan. Uh, when I think Elza, I kind of think uh, Ronin, probably quite fun champion that has some like niche bits utilities, but I can't really think of anything she can do that other champions can't do better. Even that uh, parry away counter mechanic thing, right? Uh, everybody is talking about that a lot and that is, let's face it, fairly interesting and intriguing. However, on the same note, uh, Ghost simply does it better, right? Because Ghost against stun immune opponents, you just phase and hit them as normal pretty much. So, and there is no kind of like timer cooldown to that ability and you can do it easily and the Ghost is overall much, much, much better champion. Uh, also, yeah, fair enough. Uh, so I don't think there's kind of like anything worth pursuing specifically in that character. Would it be a good champ against Man-Thing if someone plays him on main boss node, Human Torch? Uh, yeah, Human Torch would be great. Uh, what else? Basically, you need somebody that's poison immune, and that's about it. And then you just wave at him, because there's nothing else inherently hard about him. So, grab a poison immune champion and smack him. Anybody with decent damage output should be good. Uh, crits don't do extra damage, but... So, you need somebody that hits kind of hard. Basically, I just poison immune. I'm having massive debate with one of my ally who is better, Ronin or Hawkeye. Mm, I'll go with Ronin, you know why? Just because of the fact that he shrugs off all the debuffs. Power control is good and all, but like no immunities. He, Hawkeye is a, is a decent champion, but I think Ronin is still overall better champion there. I think Ronin, yeah, because of the fact that he can shrug off all and any kind of debuffs. So that makes him to a degree worse still. And also keep in mind it's not just kind of like damage over type debuffs, it's all debuffs. So anything that's remotely annoying he can deal with it. Are there any bad matchups for Quake except <laughs> Starburst? Starburst isn't even that bad of a matchup honestly. Because uh, you deal your damage in chunks. Kind of like thing. Uh, you can take on several fights with Starburst as quick as well. Like, obviously the True Strike, anything that provides, prevents her from evading, is a bad matchup. That's kind of like the worst ones. And there are like, yeah. She had some bad matches, but not many. Who should I get to rank 5 as 4 star? Captain America Infinity War or Aegon or Nick Fury? Need good champion for Mephisto this month, you see. Uh, if you need for Mephisto, then definitely Cap can probably do it best. Uh, but overall, as 4 star, I would probably pursue Cap. Just because the things that Cap can do quite often uh, does not rely on his... Uh, does not rely on his... actual damage output. It relies on those petrified buffs and debuffs and like 
and also the fact that he can uh, have the perfect parries. Uh, so as four star, I definitely value cap higher than the other two, I think. What's up, the crow? How are you doing, dude? I'm just gonna go for this one. Haha. <laughs> Then we can spam this. Wonderful. There we go, and that should finish it. Captain Infinity War, I personally would say no. I Unless he's duped and classic, I would not rank up the champion. He's still not a bad champion and duped by any means. He still can deal with unstoppables extremely well and the synergies are worthwhile and stuff like that. Uh, but what takes him kind of like over the edge from being all right to being actually really good uh, is the max sig. What's up, Mr. Sunshine? Did you get a haircut? Looks snazzy. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I did get a haircut, like, on Monday. Last path rank collected, opening 6 star. Dude, that's awesome. Good luck, dude. So, Mega Redward rank 5. He's only at 670. Gonna get suicides ready by next month. Yeah, at 670. He's worth it. And eventually, you're gonna get higher up. So, yeah, dude, go for it. When will the... <laughs> when will they get the buff? Uh, <laughs> uh, they... They sh should be next update. According to the latest uh, Kabam BS unreliable info, it should be next update because they wanted to do like another playtest with him and do some adjustments. Coloss on all men Logan. So it does seem that they're not going to be exactly as you saw them in beta test because they are like changing some stuff and doing playtest and stuff. Because don't forget that old man Logan already got nerfed <laughs> since you saw the beta test. Uh, with that heavy attack. He's not gonna be able to combo into heavy attack because he had the same speed and cadence of heavy attack as She-Hulk did. <laughs> ah, cadence, whatever. It's your opinion, Yellow Jacket is my first 6-star. Sucks, dude. Sorry to hear it's your first 6-star. It's not a good champion by any means. There's practically nothing he does in the game that's noteworthy and other champions don't do better. Kabam's BSN. <laughs> Have a rank 5 cap at SIG 90 I think is decent. Uh, I, I, I kind of disagree. Like if I rely if I want to rely on the champion, I want to know that the build is gonna be there. Especially because the cap's ability is what the way you use cap. Uh, the way you use Captain, he often demands that 100 percent accuracy. For instance, if you use him on biohazard or freezer burn or like some of these nodes where like they place massive debuffs on you. And even one of them slips through, you're pretty much dead, like in high end content. Right? Uh, like, you can use max sig cap on backblast. And if you play, like, smart or well enough, you can make sure that you 100% bypass that incinerate if you do a lot of damage. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if your cap is not max sig, you might bypass some now. So it's not all. So already that. Just that 1% or there's those 10% that you're missing or whatever is the amount that you're missing there Immediately drastically disables the usability of cap in a lot of kind of trickier situations Saving your 6 for void, that's fair enough, but the, here is the difference Void needs high sig, cap needs max sig What's up John Smith, how are you doing? <laughs> that's basically the same thing as you thought about the yellow jacket Well yeah, I'm sorry, unfortunately there just is not too much for the champion there is nothing in that guy like that. That's sort of that he can't do any interesting tricks. There's, he's not even kind of like one of those champions that you could use in impractical but fun series because there's not much he like actually does. His damage output is subpar. Those powers things and stuff like that. I mean, it's like neat and all, but it's fairly irrelevant when it comes to the grand scheme of things. Phoenix Undoped uh, is dope. Uh, Phoenix Undoped still can do some damage, but I really do value Phoenix mainly because of her dupe ability. How you drunk uh, Limka? What's Limka? I don't know what that is. Sorry, I'm too foreign for all this. 
my vocabulary is still fairly limited remember that guys i'm very bad when it comes with like local slang or some more scientific words i guess uh so i do try my best not to sound completely foreign to you guys what's up jizz how are you doing giz jizz i kind of hesitate calling you jizz though <laughs> you know like because my vocabulary is limited but i do know that one what's up giz i'm gonna call you giz it's fine giz For those who don't know, Giz also has his own YouTube channel. You guys might want to go and uh, check it out. He uploads videos fairly frequently. He's like also, you know, like YouTuber chat and stuff like that. So for sure, if you're looking for more MCOC content, uh, just go and check him out. Ah, I got smacked. The six ones are really hard to get. Yeah, that is true. But again, as I said, there's a difference. Void needs high sig, ideally max sig. Captain America Infinity War to be used to his full abilities need max sig. Giz more or giz less. <laughs> two out of two bad six star fools now. Uh, yeah, I definitely know how you feel, dude. I just duped my six star Iron Fist in my latest opening, so. That's another one of those champions that pretty much has nothing going for them. Archangel is a champion, I am cursed with in my main account. I don't have a 3 star one, I have 8 5 stars. <laughs> Ouch, that sucks dude. Uh, Archangel, like, I was so obsessed with Archangel when he came out. I really, really wanted that champion and thought he's fantastic, and he is. But, as soon as I got him as a 5 star and duped him as a 5 star, I never bothered taking him to to rank 4. That actually might be one of the things I kind of want to change. I have some spare tier 2 alpha cats I can actually use now. Uh, actually we need to go and check it out. I might be taking somebody to rank 4 like today or tomorrow. Because I think I have a few spare ones now that I did rank 2 a 6 star over max out 5 star. But you basically save like 3 tier 2 alphas. Taking a champion to rank 4 then to rank 5 takes 10 tier 2 alphas, taking a 6 star to rank 2 takes 7. So since I was continuously taking my 5 stars to rank 5, I was falling back in tier 2 alpha department and I hadn't taken any champion to rank 4 in like forever. They pulled sparkle 6 star, dude that's awesome, congratulations. How do you have almost 100 million gold? I saved a penny, got a pound, saved a pound, got a tenner. And then I invested it in stocks and then the refund came and then I sold my company shares to Google and I got 100 million. I ranked my AA to fight AW bosses to be able to stand unstoppable and then, then oh dude that sucks. I, I can definitely understand how that feels. Does Nick Fury and Captain Marvel have a synergy? Yes, extremely important one. They are extremely, extremely Dependent on that. You're at 102 mil gold, dude, Tim. You're more richer than I am. So you got a 6 star Omega Raid. I don't know how to feel because he needs to be awake. And feel happy. You have one part of a great equation, kind of like one half. At least 6 star Phoenix does have good prestige. <laughs> yeah, but the 6 star prestige kind of doesn't really come into play until there are rank 3 6 stars or until you can get that 6 star to like 620. That is a point where they kind of get over. The prestige of maxed out five stars. Could he wait? You know, hype, you know, list. Uh, I, I already spoke about it once, like at the beginning of the stream. You're gonna have to go back and rewatch it if you want to hear my answer. But the base idea is that list, I wanted the champions that can just go in the fight and hit opponents. Not particularly rely relying on dropping the heavy attacks, unless in case of like Wasp, because kind of Wasp can chain into heavy attack and stuff like that. Base idea is that hype does need that Fury ramp up. It's not hard, he might as well be in the list, I agree to that. But I was kind of wanting to largely put the champions on the list that enter the quest and just parry or whatever and just hit opponents. Do you have guillotine 2099? No, I did not go to Comic Con, therefore I cannot possibly have her. So I have 8 tier 2 alphas, which means I can take 1 or 2 champions rank 2. Probably 1 at this time, so... Sorry, rank 4. So I'm... So yeah, there should be a new rank up with soon. Karnak is a trash champ. Karnak is... Uh, Nothing spectacular, but he definitely isn't the worst though. In fact, he heals up suicides, he has access to true strike, he has good high crit rate, he's not awesome. Why did I rank 2 my wasp? Because wasp is awesome. I have made videos, reviews, explained my decision. You might just want to check out some of those, there's a lot of many good reasons to 
the Round Cup of Wasp, in my opinion. What is Cap Marvel and Nekiri Synergy? Uh, basically, you make sure their charges last longer. So Captain Marvel's binary charges uh, have extended duration, which makes it much easier to keep up her charges and make sure she always stays in binary. And on the kind of like counter side, uh oh, crud. Captain Marvel synergizes with Nick Fury and lets Nick Fury keep his tactical charge for longer when you don't have Fury buff active. Because when you have Fury buff active, those charges don't expire anyways. Wasp has a highest attack rating in the entire game. And yeah, that is also true. And also those guaranteed crits on heavy attackers. So good. Such a good questing champ. Am I missing something about her? Why I fail? Oh. Hit too slow. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh, you just kind of like need to practice that. Because when you do your... Whichever hit is the last one that you want to chain your heavy to. Remember, you can only chain it to the fourth hit though. You can't do your fifth hit and then try to chain it. Uh, but the point is, it has to be the same finger movement. If you like hit the opponent, you swipe in, you tap, tap, and you hold that tap immediately. You don't do kind of like any other movement. Did I see the Joker? Yes, I did, in fact. Quake can defeat Havoc Uncollected. Uh, yes, Quake can, in fact, defeat Havoc Uncollected. Now use Synergy and have a rank 4 Captain Marvel. Well, use the Synergy, Captain Marvel becomes better, Nick Fury becomes better. It's really, really good and beneficial. Especially for longer fights. Isn't that the bug that Fury's away charge is used to? The Fury's away charges is used with every... Huh? I, I don't... Oh, uh, I don't think it's a bug. I, I mean, I hope it's a bug, but it's just a shitty interaction. That's all there is to it. Bad interaction, should I say. They changed her recently. She was going her away then... I don't know, like, uh, people have been asking me to make a video about this alleged wasp bug, right? So, like, passive stunts are not applying or it's not reliable or something. And I was. I was gonna make that video. I was like, okay, so here's my wasp. I'm gonna go and record and gonna make a kabam bashing video or whatever. And here's the problem. To best of my ability, I could not recreate it. I did not have a single stun, passive stun fail. So, can't make the video, I don't know what everybody's on about, might be phone issue, might be something else, I just can't recreate that video, I mean I can't recreate the bug, because my passive stance always apply without fail, so there's nothing really to complain about. So 5 star Omega to rank 5 or undo Spiral Strength 2, do Omega if you run Suicides for sure, if you don't play Suicides I wouldn't do either probably, pretty sure the Mephisto final boss is bugged even if you're not in order he's gaining power. It doesn't matter whether you're in the aura or not. If he has the aura, he's gaining power regardless. So that's working as intended. He just have to have that aura on him. And yeah. Angel Boy, is it true that Clairvoyant has a higher stack rating now? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked. It might be. I think she has quite high. Yes. Fight 5 star, 565 thing in arena. Cool. <laughs> that's nice. Good to know, I suppose. Okay, Iceman. Let's let, let's take in Hammock. Why not? Welcome back, uh, how did your essay go? 6 star Scarlet Twitch is nothing people should be too excited about. You need a 5 star Scarlet Twitch, because that is a Scarlet Twitch you can actually kind of max sig, right, and use. You know what I mean? Like, so, like, they released 6 star Scarlet Twitch, so watch, it's gonna be pathetic and unusable for most part uh, till you can like get her to sig I don't know 160 and up so there is literally no point in asking for 6 star scarlet twitch just ask for the 5 star that is the one you can max sig we're a long, uh, long time watcher first time chatting so good day sir what's up flak diesel well I'm happy you decided to have a chat with me hopefully you're enjoying the stream 5 star scarlet twitch would be insane yeah uh, well, I'd, I'd actually doubt that. I have more and more reservations about that because I think it might not be all that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Medicore essay, like half assed effort, Medicore essay just screams high school. Because <laughs> you just wrote those things to kind of have them done. You didn't particularly. I, I mean, at least I didn't. I was like, man, whatever. Just so long as, like, you know, nobody's 
on my case too much about not writing it. it died. There we go. Can we get a 6 star Scarlet Witch? Again, you don't want or need 6 star Scarlet Witch. <laughs> you need a 5 star Scarlet Witch. Have you seen 565? Yes. I actually contacted Lizard and she put me in touch with the person who has that tour and I requested to have some more footage recorded and I'm planning to make a video on that maxed out tour and what I think about him and stuff like that. Why the F isn't Corvus Glaive incinerate immune? Uh, why man thing isn't poison immune? Just ask about dude, I don't know. I mean, should he be? I don't even know. He's technically nothing immune, he just takes no damage from those debuffs and then technically he's immune to all the damage over time because he can't die from them, so it's one of those things, like, just take it for what it is. I'm not too bothered, <laughs> kind of. I mean, like, there's a lot of inconsistencies in this game. Like, a dude with a flaming skeleton is not incinerate immune, can't incinerate Im opponents. Like, legit, the dude would only have to headbutt opponent to set them on, on flames, right? But no, there's no incinerate buffs. Man Thing's animation of level 3 specifically shows opponent's hand catching fire, right? <laughs> Still no incinerate damage. Like, how, how do you call that? Like, you make an animation where somebody's catching fire and that apparently does no damage to opponents of the sort. There is just so much silly things in this game that I have been made kind of nah. You know, it is what it is. It, technically nothing really bad can happen to Corvus as long as he's a glaive. Yeah, that is true. I want to tour the big boy to do have him rank 2 5 star. I, my tour is still rank 1, I think, or rank 2 now, but he's unduped. I'm not gonna rank him up unduped anymore. <laughs> Those who know Baron Man things <laughs> touch my brain. Yeah, exactly, Bob. Dormant Ghost Rider. It's not just the Dormant Ghost Rider. It's like why Iceman isn't called Snap Immune, but a Sabertooth is. So Sabertooth has. As basically thick coat, so he's called Snap Immune. Tony Stark has slick armor, so he's called Snap Immune. But Iceman, who is literally the physical embodiment of cold, takes cold snap damage. <laughs> like the fudge is up with that, right? It's like how how silly you can get this. Basically he's saying that uh having a coat or some fur or whatever that is is more potent and means more than being made of freaking ice. Alternatively, ice is somehow incinerate immune, so ice doesn't melt. Okay, I, I understand that you can't put ice on fire, you c but you can melt ice, right? There should still be some sort of interaction in between that. So... <laughs> if anything, it should be that you can shrug off quicker the incinerate or something like that. Because you can't put him on, set him on fire, but he melts, like... I don't know. There's just a lot of these things that you look and think. Same as like Quake. Like technically what she's doing, she's creating earthquake waves and so the opponents who try to hit her lose their ability accuracy and she can evade that. How the fudge does that affect Falcon for instance? <laughs> she's flying. <laughs> there are a lot of these things but you need to take them for what they are. He's incinerate immune in the comics since he's Omega level mutant. Like, okay, fair enough. I can I can take that. I can understand that. But there's a lot of these things regardless. Yeah, Ghost Rider not immune to poison, not immune to incinerate. Also, yeah, uh, Ant Man, uh, for instance, size wise, he's also can be like the Giant Man and whatever else. Now, but he's just like a medium sized champion. I think it would have been like a really cool kind of. Uh, not easter egg, but a witty thing to add every single size. Starting from like extra small to extra large to Ant-Man, because that's kind of the point. He can change his size, right? That's his one ability. And it'd be cool if they could reflect it in the game and give him all the size tags. How you can poison mines. Yeah, how you can poison bones and fire. 
Whether I can poison his leather jacket. Yeah, Ant-Man pre-fight ability size up or down, that would be cool too. Or some sort of ability that alters your size in the fight. <laughs> Final boss for Act 6, I haven't given it too much of a thought yet. I'm sure it's gonna be some super BS fight though. And then again, it might not be as bad, because when you look at Act 5, Collector is arguably the hardest boss, which would be, in this case, the champion. And the final boss of Act 5 is like that Ultron, which is like, okay, whatever. I did not know that. Feel like maybe. Why? Like, literally, why Obama about a week ago, I duped my beast, and once again, I got the dude. Ouch, dude, it sucks. I had a period where I couldn't get away from beast as well. Hello, Pop. Yes, gr my grandson, I can see you. Okay, uh, I think we're just gonna keep on going with the chimes that we have here. <laughs> just scientist. Okay, yeah, you can poison a swamp and uh, like that, that thing, but how, tell me why does the swamp that sets people on fire don't set people on fire? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> No, no, you're not blocked by my channel. Not yet, grandson. <laughs> Misbehave more and we're gonna ground you for a week. So KD streaming uh, away on your off time, good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of those things I kind of wanted to. Like, it, it's my time off, you know? This, I enjoy this and that, that this is kind of exactly what I needed and wanted. I just have a free day to do some streams, to chill, to kind of like do my stuff and don't be rushed or stressed because that is the biggest problem like when it comes to doing youtube because i have a girlfriend i have a full-time job i'm always kind of rushing and forced to multitask and do a lot of things at the same time and i can never invest a lot of time and basically anything that the way it saved me yeah well that's the, that's what it's there for so yeah ghost eagles quake sorry devil boy like this is the last time till you catch a drift that's a timeout you have had warnings about this. That's just like asking for trouble. You think you're being so clever? You think you're being so clever? I'm the one wielding the wrench here though. <laughs> Watch it get you. No more dungeons though? Yeah, unfortunately not. Namor is here. Where's Namor Lorenzo? What's my job? Uh, it's to do with warehousing and logistics and warehouse operations. Kind of like, yeah. Work for logistics. Please KFT. For the sake of humanity, vote for beast buff. There's no... That's not one of the options. <laughs> Why can you bleed Mephisto can't bleed their mammal? That's... I guess it's fair comparison as well. Yeah, they're both <laughs> extremely powerful multi-dimensional beings. At the same time, uh, why can you uh, incinerate... Uh, their mammal can't incinerate... Mephisto. I mean, like, I get the Mephisto has a whole health theme going on, but realistically, I think their mama should also be incinerated. Me. How do you deal with spiked armor? So, grandson, I legit just made a video about a Road to the Labyrinth and how you beat Road to the Labyrinth, and spiked armor has a lot of screen time in that video, and I also go over the best ways how to deal with spiked armor. Uh, so yeah, go check out that video. It's gonna help you more than I could help you right now. Could you want the Supreme Leader? <laughs> no, now I want the Yellow Jacket buff. <laughs> what did he do? He said that uh, Ghost is better than Quake. Fight fire, fire, I guess. <laughs> Throw your face at the spiked armor. Done. That also works. That also works. Thank you, Pop. No worries. Dude. If you want to bring logic to the game, then many champs that make sense. Joe Fix is shooting at Hulk with a Tommy gun. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, I know, it box you with Happy Period, but there's just so much kind of obscene about this game that that's exactly why I said I, I am kind of like, meh, it is what it is. I, I don't stress about it, I don't go up in arms about all of these things that don't make sense, because there's so much of them. And like, they how also Kabam has made like some good uh, effort in kind of like giving these easter eggs and kind of like little things in the game, for instance, Daredevil can ignore the invisibilities or... 
uh, Cyclops can be immune to plasma damage from Havoc and vice versa because they can like do the same stuff But I think they're also missing a lot of opportunities just like I mentioned with Ant-Man that he should be able to alternate all of his sizes and same as Yellow Jacket and kind of that kind of stuff Yeah, he did get uh, timed out for three minutes saying that Ghost is better Yeah, speaking of logic, <laughs> lol, Rolex speed kill is not from a god or a man with the power of a million suns, but sign a spy with a gun and a knife. <laughs> yeah, that also is like, how the hell can Nick Fury easily, by miles, let's say, out damage Hulk? What's up, Vicente? How are you doing? Another mama is made of dark magic, not flames, so he can be damaged by certain types of flames, like Hellfire. Again, certain types, so it'd be cool that he would be immune to certain types. Not all of them. How? Like, I get that he can be damaged, let's say, by some sort of hellfire and that crap. Okay, how how does the mass massacre can damage him? He basically uses, like, booze to light people up on fire, right? With those, like, alcohol cocktails or whatever. How does that scale up to, like, Dormammu? And, but, and at the same time, I do get it. I get it that they need to kind of, like, scale these power le hero levels, because realistically, a guy with no superpowers and a gun and a knife uh, has to be able to fight... Hyperion, let's say, who's pretty much like a godlike creature, right? So they have to be able to kind of like step away from all the comic accuracy, but at the same time, many of these things are just silly and kind of like overlooked, in my opinion. Like, yeah, they gave Incinerate Immunity to Night Thrasher, which is a regular guy in a costume, basically, which is Okay, maybe not the most high-tech or low-tech costume, but still, that, that somehow makes him incinerate immune. The dude that's literally on fire is not incinerate immune. <laughs> well, a man with a flaming baseball bat can kill demons and gods. Yeah, that, 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 that's MCSE. Quake should be bonus against champs with bones since her... Yeah. Should be, should do. <laughs> Doesn't. Hulk should get endless amount of fury bars the longer the fight is, Hulk smash, kind of, yeah, the more, or, yeah, you should do. Marvel or DC, tough, that's not even a question. I'm not playing co a game called DC Contest of Champions, right? Marvel Contest of Champions. No, uh, I do not mind DC either, uh, I don't think DC is bad, I think DC kind of like approached different perspective. Uh, speaking of different perspective, Joker uh, was cool. I liked it. It may be like not the most kind of like entertaining movie, and it's one of those movies that just kind of like keeps you feeling bad the entire movie. And if I have any kind of critique about Joker, they, in my opinion, the way I kind of look at it, they left me waiting for far too long. As the movie is going on, only thing I could do is kind of like check the watch time and check how much of the movie is left there. Because I wanted kind of like Joker, full-fledged Joker a bit more in the movie. He was basically only the Joker for like last 10 or 20 minutes or so. I wanted more of that guy. I wanted more of the city and rest or how people, more people actually started following, you know, some Jokerish action. Everything about the movie was like great though, but yeah, I just I, I just felt that They kept me waiting for a bit too long DC has better comics recently though. I'm not really reading comics. So I would know I'm Not that hardcore fun. They should be able to crash Korg. Yeah, should do. I mean She does crash Korg though. Now there's so many beauty buffs Hulk stuff that I, I did like yeah, Hulk is one of those champions that deserve better. But same as Magneto, it's like, what the hell? Magneto's magnetic shields are able to block beams from Galactus, but he gets ripped apart by everybody. Last, uh... Well, I'm only saying that Go is better quick. You get banned? Uh... <laughs> no, you did not get banned. Don't worry, like this? I'm just gonna demonstrate again. This is not me banning you, it's me putting you in timeout for being naughty like you do with children. Because it's not just what you said, just you keep repeating it. And you also do it with a slight straight up uh, kind of a reason in your mind. 
and it's largely to provoke me. It's just same as like saying a joke, right? Joke is as offensive or can be as offensive, uh, basically as offensive people take it. But there's also one big difference how socially acceptable joke is. If you're making jokes with an intention of making people laugh and feeling good and stretching some lines, that's perfectly fine. If you're making jokes with an intent to uh, insult somebody or some, somehow hurt or harm them or make them like uncomfortable or suffer, that's not okay. So in this case, the key lies in not what you said, but what, what was the intention of you while you said it. Your intention definitely was being a little pissant and provoke me. <laughs> so here's the difference. Uh, Magneto did, I, I believe Magneto did buff being, block beings from Galactus though, just when Galactus was weakened. Oh god, the yeah, chance for their place in the game, uh, comparing them isn't fair, that is also accurate. To be fair, Scarlet Witch can take the powers, yeah, yeah, I know, like, obviously, like, I, once again, this is contest, so scaling is needed. Katie knows about jokes going too far after his dishwasher thing from yesterday. <laughs> Again, that did not have an intention to hurt anybody. That had an intention to entertain, but yes, fair enough. Apocalypse. Oh, fair enough. My bad. My bad. Sorry, Bella. Was it Apocalypse? I don't know. I might be missing up. I'm, once again, I'm not kind of like the most knowledgeable dude. I mean, I know some stuff, but can easily make mistakes. Okay, so I'm gonna die here, but hopefully before I do, I can do some decent damage. Oh, maybe he'll actually. <laughs> you see, guys, sometimes the best answer is just pure violence <laughs> and damage. So we made it in time. I think no one got offended or hurt by the dishwasher comment a lot. <laughs> so no one is fair enough. I mean, again, I, I, that was not intention to offend anyone. My girlfriend would whoop my ass, though. Like, if my girlfriend heard it, because she really does not like that kind of jokes. If my girlfriend heard it, oh my god, I would be in so much trouble. I would be sleeping on the couch. <laughs> First time turning into your stream, love your vids, you have helped me become a much better player, so well, you're welcome, Tanner. thank you very much for checking out the stream, I uh, hope you're enjoying it. Finally, as a character. <laughs> Wait, I missed the joke, what was it? There was no joke, John. <laughs> Never you mind. Magneto can't stop bullets, he has power magnetism, but <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of that, Magneto should be a lot more powerful though. <laughs> Key to avoid special three tap the screen a lot and fast, kind of. How am I doing, Yuri? I'm doing just fine. What about Colossus? Can you poison a metal? I, c I think some poisons could actually corrupt or corrode the metals, because some poisons technically could. I don't know. A lot of gems, right? What's up, Delirious? How are you doing, audience? And when is Weapon X version of Wolverine is coming in the game? I doubt it is, because if they wanted to drop it, it would have been done like a long time ago. Oh, right, I should have taken a power control champion or something for that. I'll probably find. <laughs> like, the Punisher is a troublesome. I'll probably be fine, right? Oh yeah, Hulk not having any regeneration, or Abomination not having any regeneration, is also quite a uh, joke, I think. Because yeah, those guys can pretty much regenerate back to full strength from anything, like, <laughs> in no time, but hey. And let's not even get started about Sentry, like pretty much one of the 
only ways you can defeat Sentry is if he wishes to be defeated kind of thing, right? If he kind of like <laughs> does it to himself. But then, once again, a dude with a knife and a pistol out damages him in this game. Uh, good times. Nigel, boy, I didn't mean to offend you all. Well, once I again, ha ha, you see, that is how you deal with bullies. <laughs> Very good devil boy. Uh, <laughs> enough is enough. Send your best void. And it, yeah. So, okay, void actually, like, I mean, void is cool champ, but again, like, should be able to hit hard. <laughs> I think. And the biggest thing that makes no sense for Sentry, the, the biggest thing to me is, well, outside of <laughs> everything else that doesn't make sense about him, but the huge thing that makes absolutely no sense about Sentry is why include that penalty that he must be at that and that amount of health in order to be able to carry over his persistent charges like there is no reference to that in like comics or anywhere as far as I'm aware and yeah it's like what the hell is up with that I think MCOC Sentry decided to lose already so he doesn't even try fair enough that might be the case if you could rework one champion who would if I personally could rework one champion I'd probably go with Groot because he really flipping needs it I mean, like, if you think who is my favorite, uh, then there are a lot of champions I'd like to get my hands on, but if you're talking about champions who need it the most, I'd probably want to see Groot reward. But the Sentry and Warrior combined? Well, they can't be combined because they are the same person. I mean, like, exactly the same thing, same person. It's just kind of like, Sentry is basically, sorry, Void is basically Sentry when he's having a hissy fit. How many wars did you guys lose this season? We lost, in fact, uh, three wars. Yes, we lost three wars. So we won nine, we lost three. We lost twice to Kenobi and once to ISO 8A, I think. When Novi in the game? Yeah, no would be cool. Ron and Sonya, father would disown you. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Bella. I want Swarm in this game. Could be cool. Hey, look at that, like I have a debuff, but I landed like three parties straight. Take that, Electra. Four! <laughs> like, taking control of RNG. Okay, now at this point I have three neuro, four neuros, so the fight's over. Yeah, but that's the thing is, Groot is kind of annoying defender in the game, currently, but that the question was if I could revamp a character, and with that I understood it as in like I would decide his abilities. I would change it. Not like if I would like think who I would want Kabam to run, run, like <laughs> update most. It definitely would be Groot because yeah, he's a defensive tank and I don't trust them. <laughs> do you like the Terminator in MK11? I do not play that game, therefore I cannot answer that question. I don't. Yeah, I mean, I know what Terminator is, but I don't play it. KT for president of Kabam. <laughs> yeah, right. What's up, the Living Tribunal? Hiding, dude. <laughs> this screen goes dark, like King Groot and only sees damage. Uh, yeah, I, I don't mind that bit, though. Bro, can you read my last? Don't want to spam too much. Okay, Delirious. I'll try and find your last. Where is your last? KT, uh, bro, what are some good counter for variant 3 Havoc? I don't have many tech champs besides Ghost. Planning to use Havoc against Havoc. Uh, Warlock is a fantastic champion, but you can use Ghost as well. I think I actually used Ghost. The thing you want to change up in your game plan though is just bait out the, his heavy attacks uh, and kind of like phase as much as you can, but you can do it with Ghost, I think. KT for president of Grand City, Mass Legends for CEO of Fennel. What's up, the real Berliner Flash? How are you doing, dude? I really want Sandman in game? Yeah, that would be awesome as well. There's no Terminator, there's only Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> uh, just watch Owen Reese being introduced and being absolutely garbage. Huh? What you want about that? Oh, you mean Terminator? Yeah. <laughs> Ghost can clear all bro. Yeah, I think ghosts can probably be your easier option to that hammock. 
And especially if you have hood synergy, because then you can just phase off the detonations as well. So there's that. Okay, if they ask you to be a part of CCP, would you be up for it? Ah, uh, probably not. <laughs> Maybe, probably not. Katie for president of timing out me. Oh, you want to see like the magic work again? <laughs> Spider Gwen a good count at the six point champion? Yeah, she's quite decent, but she does have to be fairly highly ranked. She can't do that stuff like She Hulk can. Because her damage is capped, kind of like I like She Hulk. I need a good counter. Where do you go? I need a good counter for Extinction Protocol Vision, kindly advice. Magic. Get your level two as quickly as you can. Don't let him fill up another bar of power. That's all you have to do. Any effective form of power control that does not let him build power is an answer to that vision. What's your opinion, man? Thing is Kabam. Yeah, I, I, I think he's gonna be just average subpar character. He's no Ebony Maw when it comes to being pillow hands, but he's nothing too great either. And the problem with man thing is the biggest contribution that champion is going to give to the contest is make somebody that's not even particularly difficult to fight just annoying and long because he's absolutely beefy and he takes much less damage from the crits and you kind of want to poison immune against him so there's all that and like bleed immunity so like blade who's like mystic killer wouldn't work so he's just going to be one of those champions you hate seeing in any quest when it comes to actual kind of usability of the champion for you offensively i honestly cannot figure out anything whatsoever that he does better than other champions in the contest. I don't think there's anything special about him offensively. Quicksilver is cooler than Flash? Uh, I, uh, maybe, I don't know that much. I, I'm not the biggest Flash or Quicksilver fan though. You hear about the Blizzard China scandal? If Kabam was in Blizzard's position, would you bark at the game? I did not hear about that scandal, therefore I cannot answer that question. Another complete lead down is Thanos. Well, Thanos is sold, but yeah. And Kang as well. I think Kang is bigger lead down because they can do so much with Kang, but they do nothing with him. Fury is badass. For sure he is. I like your stream says you are not that loud, so my twin boys don't wake up. <laughs> That's fair, I suppose. Uh, you see? <laughs> well, y you can kind of control how loud I am, though, because I assume you have ability to change volume on whatever device you are watching. If it's too quiet, <laughs> turn it up. If it's too loud, turn it down. It's not rocket science now. What's up, Edson? How are you doing, dude? I'm doing just fine. Can't complain. Every time I say that we need the all father in the game. Oh, Odin would be cool as all, well, yeah, for sure. Let's try Archangel this time. What is volume? <laughs> I do not know. You really want Odin? Sound, yes, sound, sound, level, whatever. Do not try to pick on me and my foreign bottom. <laughs> I will mix words up, sometimes I mix their meaning, sometimes I just lose a word, two or three. It happens, get used to it, that's not going to change anytime soon. Ah. Okay, that kind of worked. This was a mistake, but hopefully, yeah, there we go. Haha! <laughs> that is good, that is good. I like 81 because he prefers Hyperion over Medusa. 100%, I think Hyperion is so much better than Medusa. He was there for Punisher, very good indeed. Yeah, wasn't too bad. Uh, feel like you are in every stream at every time I wreck. <laughs> Fair enough. I am just happy that there are people who come back regularly. Blizzard basically took away the prize money of a pro Hong Kong eSport player after he said something pro Hong, pro Hong Kong and fired the two moderators that interviewed him. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> ouch, that sucks. So, yeah, uh, that, that that's horrible. <laughs> it's awful. I think gaming and like politics or in the other kind of agenda just don't go well together and they everybody should get their bloody asses out of that mindset someone's a little bit feisty tonight who <laughs> future also has anyone else noticed that one goes in the fight uh, on the third stage uh, 
flaming boulder pass through her? No, I have not noticed that, but cool. Who's Blizzard? Blizzard is a gaming company that makes games, basically. <laughs> kind of like Kabam, but I think Blizzard is bigger, probably. Because Kabam isn't like that particularly big, is it? Really, I like. Uh, can you tell me that Happy Union is so much better than Medusa? Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll see. I mean, like, I can t I can say that Happy Union is better than Medusa all day, every day, <laughs> kind of like anyway, but. You can see if we raid him. Did we try COD Mobile? No. I, do you guys want me to? I might do a stream of that one for funsies. Because I used to play... Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. Because I used to play COD. Like, ages ago. When like Modern Warfare 2 was the hottest thing. Now I don't even have Xbox anymore. I just gave it away to my nephew. I did get Xbox One though, but yeah, I gave it away. Can you do a specific video on that variant 3 hammock fight? Uh, possible? Maybe? I, I do, if I get around to it. <laughs> I don't know if too many people would watch it now, because when you make content, it's kind of like all about timing and you need to be there, then and there. And if you make content about something that has been released, a while ago not many people watch it because it's not like all that actual for instance I made a realm of legends video that I did put a lot of effort in it and it's only at like 2,000 or 3,000 views currently and it's been like several days and even concerge dropped out a shout out so uh, basic idea is that video took a lot of effort to make compared to most other ones and I think it's like a really good useful video that will help any new player. But the fact that a large portion of the people are kind of like past it or just don't want to do it currently uh, means it's probably not going to get many views ever. And when you make video about any kind of content, the timing is kind of like the key. Uh, but yeah, because. Uh, I know that Havoc is a problem. People have asked me before, so I might still do it. Okay, yeah, a bit about Warlock. What his awakened ability? It's nothing special. It's basically you could replace it kind of with put signature stones in here if you want to increase the prestige. Uh, it places a small degen on the opponent every time they try to heal if they are infected, basically. So it's only useful kind of on defense. Uh, and that's about it. It, it. it does hardly anything. It's similar to, let's say, Domino's Awakened ability. It's pretty much irrelevant offensively. Your stream timings mostly match with my break time, so mostly. <laughs> thanks to it. That, that's perfect. It works out. So now for my next, next magic trick, you can make yourself disappear. <laughs> Ghost is better than Quake. <laughs> Not this time. Just because you said that you're gonna make yourself disappear means I'm gonna do absolutely nothing. So. I'm gonna let this one slide just to make you wrong. You see? That's how spiteful I am. <laughs> Any time now? Nope. Master War 7 Quakes. <laughs> I mean, if you know people who are good with Quake, let us know we're looking for good Quakers. <laughs> Yeah, Quake, Quake, Quake's crazy good. Quake is like the best Alliance War Champion in my opinion. Just takes on so many of the hard, tricky matchups. Everybody is like hard and Quake. Oh, she can't do the boss fight. Yeah, well, she's gonna wreck everything up, up to the boss pretty much. <laughs> I have been exposed. See, you're a faker. Angel Boy, that's not fair. I know I'm not a fair person. So, what's your point? I like think I'm good with Quake. It's like well with Quake and just party. That's fair. Like I mean like Quake's not for everybody. No, well I, I can understand that there are some people who might be like physically unable to find that rhythm, but for the most part I just think it's just that the biggest group of people is the people who haven't taken the time and effort to learn it and people who have. People who have every single person who can quake, who has learned to quake, loves Quake, appreciates Quake false for her, thinks she's like one of the best or like the best champion in the game with her. 
And then there are people who can't play Quake well, who say, ah, she's like overrated or whatever. And stuff like that. So, to me, that's kind of like also an important indicator. How many people who have this champion, like, ranked and use her, act like, think greatly about it. Because you have a lot of these champions, for instance, like, let's say I have ranked up Medusa. I'm not the biggest Medusa fan. I wouldn't rank her today anymore. Like, I'm not trying to, like, hype her up because Modok, I have ranked by Modok. I'm not trying to, like, use him all the time. I never do. And so on and so forth. There are many champions that you rank up because of a reason or another, and then you either just fall out of love with them or don't particularly enjoy playing them so on and so forth but quake is never one of them people if they have ranked up quake everybody's like yeah she's so awesome you love your medusa that's fine uh i know people can do like that's why people are different you love your medusa i don't i just don't think she has aged well uh she has some decent damage armor break and poison immunity as far as i'm concerned and some safety blanket with her fury aside from that she does not have all that much when you compare it to the rest of the champions up top even hyperion that power gain is so much more important than an armor break in my opinion uh the best thing medusa does obviously shuts down robots and when it comes to dealing with robots there's hardly any better champion so i do give her props for that but at the same time any piece of content uh currently in the game uh, ranked for medusa is perfectly fine to deal with those robots therefore i don't actually recommend anybody to rank up medusa anymore now that so many cosmic champions are just better. Yes, she is best at dealing with robots, but she can do that at rank 4. Kind of like Void, for instance. She, Void's best when it comes to dealing with X, Y, and Z bullshit, kind of like region and stuff like that. She, but he can do it at rank 4. Doesn't need that rank 5. Because overall, for like your generic usability, there are better champions. You have 565 Medusa since last year? Yeah, I 565, like Medusa is my third yeah third rank five so i have her for a long time as well but i don't think she has just aged well chorus isn't as good as quake or ghost at all now uh chorus is better than people give him credit for just because of the fact that he's so easy to use and he's such a potion saver and a lot of like aqs and stuff like that so chorus is great chorus has much lower up top ceiling kind of thing what ghost can do for instance but it's the fact that he does it so effortlessly and easily is really valuable because with ghost with a lot of these matches you do need to work hard to use her to the best kind of like ability with corvus it just comes easy so i am the health anyway <laughs> who do you think is best medusa or tor uh probably medusa though yeah, Medusa, because Medusa has immunity and damage is decent and he, she has a robot thing. Like, when it comes to who I enjoy playing more, definitely Tor. He gets his damage so quickly, so easily, and he can... There's always that fun thing you can do, try and stun lock the opponent, <laughs> despite them having level 3 and kind of like RNG. And I find Tor fun. Definitely more fun than Medusa. Uh, but I, objectively, Medusa is a better champion with an extra immunity, safety blanket in her furies and stuff like that, so... Yeah, I do think Medusa is better an OG Thor. When I play Quake with Dexing, she just stops to load the heavy attack after a certain amount of time. We got some tips. Uh, it's to do with your inputs. Typically, probably because you rushed it too much. Because if you try and drop your heavy too early, sometimes it's just not going to queue it up and you're going to get smacked. I found. Hey, what's the best mastery setup in offense? There is no such thing as one best mastery setup in offense. Depends what champions you're using. Are they bleeders? Are they not? So on and so forth. What champions you need to counter? Masteries, as far as I'm concerned, are extremely kind of subjective matter. People like different things. There, in this game, there is no kind of like best, I think, overall best mastery setup. There are some of the masteries which basically go kind of like, don't leave your house without them. <laughs> but that's about it. For instance, for me personally, I think one of the best masteries in the game is Despair. It just works with so many different champions, you can use it in so different matchups. And it's just one of those masteries that might not affect every single fight. Like if opponent doesn't heal, then 
it's technically wasted mastery point, right? However, at the same point, uh, she can that can completely kind of like change other fights, and I always like how this pair on. I always like how max. No matter which mastery setup I use, no matter whether I do suicide, mystic dispersion, or like my casual kind of like or defense placement, whatever. Because I think it's even good for like defense, like you know. Because in Alliance War, uh, oh crap, that sucked. Uh, messed up. Because in Alliance War, if opponents use suicides, your despair <laughs> reduces their heal and often they're boosted, so they take a lot of damage by suicides by default. So if nothing else, you're being at least a little bit petty and making sure they use an extra potion just because you had maxed out despair. Yeah, exactly. The spares are annoying for attackers and one. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. And for every single mastery setup I play, I use despair. Can be optimistic, right? <laughs> you can be optimistic. Ghost damage is quite good without synergies. No, I mean, <laughs> Quake does. Quake is the best by far. Like, dude, Ghost. Again, and when it comes to comparing Ghost and Quake, the way I see that uh, being compared is kind of like. Uh, comparing Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo because they had like a lot of those arguments who is better and stuff like that and like there was this like great kind of like quote I remember a while ago that somebody said that uh, well there are actually two things I want to mention there uh, well the first obviously the famous one is the one that like somebody said that Cristiano Ronaldo has been sent by God to play football kind of thing and then Messi just replied I didn't send him which is which is kind of like how I look at them and then also the same kind of like reasoning that people who describe Cristiano Ronaldo say that he's basically a human kind of peak perfection of ideal kind of human right let's say Captain America whatever like the best the highest kind of like agility kind of like perfect human and Messi is this unsuspecting smaller guy that's basically pure magic right <laughs> and that's how I think Quake is relating with Ghost. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> Quake is better than uh, Ghost. Because Quake's pure magic. Things Quake does, she, she takes the game completely differently than anything else. If you say that Quake's better than Ghost and I'm gonna unsubscribe you, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead then. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> but you, you guys, you guys kind of got the argument that I was going for, right? Because Ghost uh, still plays like a champion. Yes, she can find openings without needing to parry, but she still strikes the opponent. She needs, still needs to deal with the abilities and so on and so forth. And she does it extremely well, and she has a large amount of like great matchups, which is awesome. But she still plays like any other champion. Hit the opponents, away the special attacks, so on and so forth. When Quake starts playing. It's it's kind of like completely different game. You don't strike the opponent. It all depends on you because the champion is exactly as good as you are with that champion, and she can turn the hardest fights into something completely easy. And yeah, it's kind of like magic is taking place. Okay, bye. I don't have a nice evening. All right, I've done. I can see, dude. Yeah, exactly. Quake takes away 99% of the mechanics in the game. That's why I think she's under Like, you could buff Ghost, you could basically give Ghost all of her synergies built in at already. I'd still say Quake is better. What make a champion good? It's subjective, but... Like, you mean any random champion, what makes them good or bad? Uh, it's, it's kind of like, I suppose, subjective. Yeah, just by doing that, she's the best champion game. Exactly my kind of sentiment. Seaton said that Void and Captain America Infinity War are better science champs in the game. Well, it <laughs> just kind of means that I don't think he knows too much. Well, again, uh, never, ever, 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 ever in your life accept any criticism about Quake from a player who doesn't play Quake. As, as, like, different champions, I think people can kind of, like, relate to more and, like, explain themselves more, but if a person can't play Quake, they definitely cannot 
tell how beneficial it is like you know to have quake I should stop doing that, kind of. Okay, this should be fun. Ah, oh, whatever, I'll just go for it. This is not good, yeah. <laughs> Can't you pull your weight? Yeah, you can, but it's... Ah. Yeah, exactly, Susan said he didn't focus on Quake. Well, the thing is, like, yeah, Quake isn't for everyone because she requires skill. That's also fairly accurate. Lol, your grandson's here. Yeah, I do have one, apparently. Uh, with Bishop, though, like, honestly, like, I mean, I have and I can weight him fully, but I just find it kind of safer. Take a bit of that block damage. I'm not that great with that special attack though. I have absolutely no reservations. I haven't particularly even like tried to fight properly. The worst champs I'd say the ones in the poll right now. I no th there are many missing. There is at least a list of solid twenty champions that are absolute garbage. Have you ever one shot the collector? Uh no, but I haven't went back and tried it really with my current roster because if you have rank 5 5 stars you can one shot collector it's not hard it's still rng based fight it depends when he goes unstoppable and stuff like that but you can do it it's nothing kind of like major okay uh one sec do, 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 do. get a message from my girlfriend Need to finish this one. Let's drop that thermal feedback. Another one. Wonderful. Burn, bro, burn. Do you play an iPad? No, I do have an iPad, but for whatever reason I just don't find it enjoyable or easy to play an iPad, so I stopped. I mean, I have the game installed on my iPad, I might log in there occasionally with my iPad, but... No, I don't enjoy playing an iPad. <laughs> she wants to hear the funny joke from before? No, 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 she knows not. She... She does not enjoy my streams and she hardly ever comes in here. She has been in my streams like once or twice, but typically she just doesn't care about them. So I'm quite safe. <laughs> what is my first five star uh, Cyclops, red Cyclops? What is your favorite champ uh, out of the OG champs like? Uh, pretty old point. Oh, uh, Thor. I absolutely love Doctor Strange. I used him for everything. I thought that Doctor Strange is head and shoulders best champion kind of thing. For me, Scarlet Witch is awesome, but for me, I love the way that you can control everything you do with Doctor Strange. It's not RNG reliant kind of. Uh, but favorite one definitely was Thor. It's, it's so hard. It was amazing. You start a quest fight, couple parries, bang bang, you're done. That's it. That is so sad, can you get 10 likes? Uh, it's not sad, I mean, like, I'm not too bothered. I mean, uh, I'm not upset about 12.0. Like, that's the thing, uh, I think 12.0, okay, maybe aside from some of the nerfs, because the uh, only thing that kind of does piss me off is that they nerfed these champions that they said are OP, and then they released Ghost and Corvus and Omega and all this crap, right? And it just does not have, like, if you made Doctor Strange as good as he was before, he still wouldn't crack top 10 kind of thing. On Black Widow, like that nerf made no sense even back then. 
Uh, but like when you talk about the game changes and shit like that, I mean sort of stuff like that. Uh, I'm glad they did it. I was upset initially, but taking away perfect block and all that crap and changing the game obviously has worked out for them. I think it also gave us more kind of skill based gameplay because you couldn't hide behind your block. Uh, stuff like not this how he didn't mention because Quake was bugged since she was released for like her longest time ever, and then she dealt a lot less damage. And eventually somebody noticed and then increased her damage output and then her usability increased vastly in the game. So that is the story of Quake, because uh, when she actually got introduced in the game, she dealt a lot less damage. Her aftershock damage basically wasn't scaling. You got to go. Alright, see ya, Bella. And once they fixed Quake, she basically catapulted to the top of my favorite champ list because her damage was no longer kind of like laughable. Because her playstyle with increased damage completely changed. Okay, seriously, why do you think Abam isn't concerned about Quake? Clearly, they're trying to nerf Ghost with many new champs. Uh, because only small, small kind of percentage of people can use Quake. Statistically, your player base is largely composed of people. That are like mid to low tier, right? And even most of the, like, what does it tell you if most of the end game players are unable to use Quake? Pretty much 95% of low tier players or whatever are not able to use Quake. They are not too bothered about it because there's so few people who can do it. I think so. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, what's up? Uh, Jack's Equalizer, Chazman, uh, whoever else popped in. Thanks HK Sean, uh, yeah, HK Sean's in NY now by the way, so I do get to chat with him quite frequently. Kind of like by coincidence, it somehow turned out that I have been together with HK Sean in like several different teams, because he was in MMX when I joined MMX for my brief stay in there, which was like the worst decision I ever made. Uh, then when I w took my break in End, before End disbanded, he was in End as well, and now he went to and why so this is like the third alliance i'm in with hk sean i had like the alliance see dude why am i not blocking oh that was dodgy as hell she would have wrecked me come on bleeds 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 just one come on really whatever <laughs> called out mx like that <laughs> Yeah, joining MMX then and there was definitely the worst decision I have ever made in regarding to this game. Why is John's name in green? Because he's not only moderator, but he's also a member of the channel. Sorry, he's not moderator, but he's a member of the channel, <laughs> my bad. So yeah, he... He's just basically uh, uh, donating $5 a month to my channel and helping me out, more or less. And then he gets a special green name, and he gets noticed. Why didn't you like MMX? It's like the top lions right now and brutal. Uh, why I don't like them? Because... And I'm not gonna say about everybody in there. There were some cool people. But the leadership that was running MMX at the time was I was what? I was in there was horrible. Like horrible, horrible kind of like paranoid people with very little in terms of kind of like ethics or kind of it, it, it was just super unpleasant to be there they were like kind of dead arrogant and dead competitive and even like the mmx chat honestly like i was let's say i was probably the let's say relatively poorest person in the alliance or one of the poorest anyways and the entire chat vibe was kind of like, oh, look, I bought this new car, or this is where I'm traveling at, or like wads of cash, and I don't know. It, it, all that stuff I could deal with, because I get that people are wealthier than I am, and there's absolutely nothing wrong about it, right? So that's good stuff, but the leadership just made it horrible. They were like so intense, so stressed. It's like all about prestige. We have to do this, we have to do that, we can't do that, and... It is just like depressing, mate. Do you foresee nerf coming for Ghost? No, not directly. They're gonna try and do the same stuff to Ghost that they did to Blade, which is what you can already see. There's Ebony Maw, there's Mr. Sinister Man thing, doesn't take any extra damage from crits, uh, so on and so forth. They're just gonna try and phase Ghost out 
which is gonna be harder because Ghost is more versatile than Blade is, I think. Uh, but that, I think, is going to be their plan. They're just gonna create counters and content that Ghost is not good in. You can start your lol run, uh, what do you say? Uh, go for it, dude. <laughs> what are you saying, they're all rich? All well, most of them are. Can you give me a list of champs who don't take block that? Who don't take damage from Electro? Uh, no, I cannot give you a list of champs. However, uh... If you watch Spiked Armor video, there are quite few of them being mentioned then. It's like Neymar, Omega Red, Quake, uh, Black Widow, some other ones. How I can avoid it and a bunch of champs. Yeah, I get yeah, lots of people dragging that too. Have you tried the new COD Mobile? Nope. All I had to see is Tribute Gaming. What did they do to the Blade? They just made a lot of content that Blade is not particularly good at in, and they made counters to Blade like Domino, Iron Man, Infinity War, so on and so forth. So they made like the most relevant actual kind of like top matchups in game like hardest defenders, for instance, like Havoc and Korg and all this kind of stuff. Uh, that Blade can't deal with. If it's not a secret, what's my prestige? I believe it's about 10,658 or something like that. Face ghost out. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I see what you were I did that. Quake will always, always be better than Ghost, unless they add a global node in every single quest that <laughs> True Strike is a thing. <laughs> yes, uh, Quake is and will be better than Ghost. If you disagree, then you're free to disagree and be wrong. No, honestly, like, he here goes though. Uh, I base my opinion about, like, my own personal experience, obviously how much I use which champion where, what champion is helping me more, which champion I would rely on more, which has helped me out more. If somebody can come here and present a logical kind of like an argument or a statement explaining why Ghost is better, go for it. I'm not an idiot, I can, I can listen, I can learn, I might be wrong. Currently I have never seen anyone do that though. Currently, I haven't, haven't seen anybody convince like me or make me even question the fact that Ghost is a better champion. Legacy, dude, these all those videos, there's just quite empty time there. I felt so bad for those arguments, I even was trying to help them out and first half of my reply video was trying to make his argument better, <laughs> I think. I wish you could present my Google Slides. <laughs> Go for it, I wish I could see them. Do 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 do. I probably shouldn't have taken it quite, but whatever. We're going with it. Like, realistically, like, I think there's only one kind of actual way somebody could convince me that Ghost is better. If they convince me that my definition of the best champion is wrong. And if they kind of include how many overall matches you would rather use it in or whatever kind of like thing. Because Ghost is better for like casual fights, for clearing a quest, stuff like that. Yeah, Ghost is better. But again, I don't think that makes champion great. Because there are like champions like, I don't know, Sunspot or whatever that can clear fights quickly. Like, I mean, that's always kind of like subjective, I think. What makes the champion the best for you specifically, kind of thing. But I have my opinion about that one and I'm happy with it. Let's just say I hate all the champions I don't have. <laughs> oh, yeah, I totally hate Symbiote Supreme then. Ghost is better for immunities, but no. Because <laughs> this thing is like, first of all, People, go, go, Ghost has no immunities. Ghost has ability to deal with damage over time debuffs. Does not include passives, first of all. And does not include any other like buffs. Do you reduce Ghost abilities, accuracy, let's say Magneto? You can't deal with your, she, she's not immune to jack poop. So there are conditions where her immunities don't matter. At the same time, 
Quake goes extremely well together with Nick Fury. You add some Nick Fury synergies, she can all of a sudden do all of these paths that require you to be immune. Also, she by default can deal with Biohazard, with Freezer Burn, with all that kind of crap, just because she never strikes the opponent. So she doesn't need the immunity, like Abomination, for instance, so on and so forth. So saying like Ghost kind of like outclass Quake in immunities isn't even all that accurate because both of those two champions can deal with damage over time debuffs in their own manners. So there's that. I mean, obviously both champions are more like pros and cons, but anyways, I have made a lot of videos. I think I have kind of like went on too long about Quake. Uh, I have made videos why exactly I think Quake is the best champion in the game. And I also made video kind of like replying to Legacy when he made a video that Ghost is better. Yeah, of course, they are two different champions often used for two completely different purposes. Uh, but that, like, it is very tricky to compare, I agree to that. Perhaps you shouldn't. But for me, like, personally, when it comes to the stuff that I value most and find most important in game, Quake just does more. <laughs> Rogue is the best, uh, <laughs> if you say so. Can you make video on Electra? She's very underrated. Uh, yeah, actually, I might and could, possible. I think I have six that one as well, so maybe I should. Ah, this is such a good matchup. I mean, I probably should have just quaked it and... Ah, come on. Oopsie. What the fudge? Okay, let's go. This should do, right? Hopefully this does it. Do you have to be rich in these top lances? No, I'm not rich. I'm not even remotely wealthy. <laughs> so no, you don't. You just need to play good. Obviously, rich kind of helps. Being completely free to play is pretty much impossible. You will have your expenses for like boosts and stuff. And uh, it's also really hard. Kind of like if you don't have as much money as your teammates and you constantly keep watching your teammates open crystals and pull all these great champions and you don't. And obviously, jealousy is an ugly thing. Uh, so it's much better if you do have some disposable amount of money that you are able to put in the game. Uh, but it's not like a precondition to be wealthy. Also, the amount of kind of like rich people in alliances differ by miles. Like there are ch there are alliances like Asgard and. MMX and and was and so on and so forth that those alliances are extremely rich like NY has quite a few ballers as well And then there are alliances who just have mainly kind of like average Joes that just have played this game well for long And there's hardly anybody that like drops a lot So no, you don't necessarily have to be wealthy Have you mentioned the all or nothing item patreon or something? Yeah, I made I made a video um, too about like Road to the Labyrinth just now. <laughs> I also mentioned that Iron Patreon. It's just that you use Power Control Champ. Magic is perfect answer. Uh, you can use many different champions. It's not the hardest fight, it's just the fight that you need an answer for. Like vision, whatever works. The amount of times people have asked you how to deal with Niles on your live streams, why haven't you made the video explaining? Okay, that that is true. 
Yes. I'll write it down and I'll this video. <laughs> Annie. Counter it. Fair enough. That, 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 that's a fair point. Whenever I'm thinking about spending money in MCC, I always remember Brian Grant, how he made his point. Yeah, but is it Brian Grant and like absolutely not trying to take anything away from Brian? He does this for a living. Outside of this, he has no other obligations, right? He's not in like a university, he's not attending school, he's not going to work. So it's not kind of like fair to look at Brian as like this shining example. Because he has made this his life. You're not in the same boat. If you have to wake up and go to work, like every day, you're not in the same shoes. You should not remember what or how he did because you can't do that. It doesn't work for you. Now, obviously, it's impressive that he can keep up and stuff like that. And he does a great job at it. And I think he has like extremely unique mindset that I can appreciate. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about Brian in that regard. But comparing kind of like everybody's conditions with him, it's also completely wrong. Like even I make videos, but I still go to work, right? So I can't possibly grind everything. <laughs> Do you live in UK? Yep. And he's basically living off his wife. Is he? I, do, I am. I do not know that. I, th I think child of his size should be able to get like a decent amount of income though, but... Not sure if I will ever get out of the jail. What? <laughs> what are you on about John there? Oh, guillotine. Oh shoot, I need to take some counters for this girl here. Hmm, I like nobody. Oh, this is gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> Better quick. Well, do I live in England? Yes, I live in Manchester. His name shouldn't even be allowed. Whose name? You mean Brian? No, like overall, I still think he's like an alright guy. There are many things I disagree with him. Doesn't mean I don't respect him. Like, cause he's definitely fairly intellectual, has well reasoned opinions. And the thing that I do like about him is that he's able to articulate his thought process better than most people do. And there's a lot of good things about his channel and stuff. Again, I disagree with a lot of his viewpoints, I think differently. Still, I can appreciate somebody who explains them in a constructive manner. And doesn't go too kind of far off, let's say. And doesn't go too far off like the main course, like let's say he's no grounded wisdom, right? He might often d agree with Kabam, but he's not as grounded wisdom. He does it all the time about everything. So yeah, I can respect Brian for sure. But, <laughs> but do not think you can compare your, your conditions and your ability to keep up in endgame with his. You can only do that if you don't do anything else in your life. This is, if this is what you do kind of thing. Ah, I'm gonna be screwed now. Ah, uh, whatever, I'll just... Yeah, whatever. I didn't take... Hey, the guy first professional troll, I see. Please don't mention countries in your presence. Give me your address. Why would I give you my address? I'm gonna get wrecked now, though. I'm gonna have to revive Quake or redo the path. I'm just, I think I'm just gonna revive, redo the path. Gun Wisdom should be banned for eternity. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm collected. Well, I'm doing 3-star Master Mode. But I actually might do a 3 star uncollected run, but I definitely had to change my team up. The 400k PvP fights, yeah, that's not real. I'm actually fairly impressed that I managed to get into level 4 jail without any profundity, rudeness, deliberate. <laughs> You're an impressive dude. 
Well, I do go to university, so yeah, it's as you say, it's different. Exactly. If you have any kind of obligations, you're not there. Damn, this sounds funny for trigger words. You just slide him off, off him? No, I don't slide him off because this is what he wants to do. He's successful at what he does, and I have absolutely nothing about against successful people. Only thing I'm saying is, unless you are able to do this 24 7, you have no business comparing yourself to him. That, that That's the big difference. It's not about like his life choice or what he has chosen. Hell, if my channel gets to his size, I might do exactly the same thing. I might just take a time off work or any other world troubles and I might just do YouTube videos, right? But the main thing is he's not like you. Can you please come with how to play Quake Guide? Yes, I did. It's on the channel already. It's like a really old video. He just disagree with the wrong people, not mentioning any names, scuff, Lord, Smart, scuff, and boom, suddenly you're being cracked down. Uh, you mean in Kaban forums? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so for this one, I need some like Medusa, I think. Who else I'm gonna take? I think in Warlock, should be alright. And Medusa? I mean, Medusa for boss, I have Quake as a backup. <clears throat> or do I need like a Tor as well? Uh, yeah, let's take Tor. Have this game? Why? I think if you do 3 star EC, you need to bring Ghost in because Quake is not good enough. <laughs> no. I think you think wrong. Damn, that sounds should be making a living off mobile video game. But times change, you're not making a living off mobile video game, you're making a living off YouTube. There are many people who do that, just the fact that it is centered currently about mobile game. There are people who don't like it, but for instance, in my case, like if I was actually able to do, financially able to do it, I would want to do that just to take a kind of like small break from work. Because like I'm legit burned out like what I do is not easy and it's stressful and I definitely enjoy Being able to take a break from actual work So there we go How much do you think season makes a month on YouTube a lot? Well, he made enough in the last couple of years to buy a house, right? So that should tell you Okay, so here goes uh, Another good way to estimate Seaton's money, or at least determine some sort of minimums, is he has said in the past <clears throat> that every crystal opening where he opens $200 worth of crystals, he still ends up being in plus. So every video he uploads earns more than $200. So you can count how many videos he uploads a week and determine some sort of realistic minimum. So that should give you an answer. Yeah, he has like 300k subscribers. YouTube ad revenue pays well if you have a big channel. For instance, on my, ca my channel... Because <coughs> <coughs> I'm not uh, the kind of YouTuber that gets a lot of super chats. Uh, I get most of my kind of like YouTube money from my revenue. I'm saying that's a bit of dropouts, but no complaints. Wish you all the best. Um, you're perfectly fine uh, to do that. It's not like I'm gonna try and refocus my life again. I said I would prefer to do this for a while, for like a half a year or a year. At the same time, I would also like to uh, get some more qualifications or courses or whatever done, and then get back into the job market doing something I enjoy more than I do currently. So, or, and at the same time, just, yeah, have it easy for a while. You might not like it, you might respect it, you might not respect it, but, uh, well, there are two things. I had obviously made some amount of mistakes in the past, and also my upbringing has not been the weakest, but at any given point I have been doing my best to kind of move forward and not get stuck in the mindset of I'm gonna work in 
I don't know, Kellogg's factory packing like cereal boxes for the rest of my life. So I have always been trying to somehow move forward and change things up in my life. Are you speaking about Brian? Ah, uh, well, again, if he finds it successful, I, I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong with that, I think. If he utilizes the time well. I mean, again, I, I don't have like anything about against like that is not just Brian. Like, so if you have a problem with Brian, why do you have a problem with Seaton or Rich the Man or Dirty Diggy Dave? All of those guys do this and make a living for that. Don't think it's then fair to single it out. Then you should basically hate every YouTuber who doesn't have a job. Seaton also has a lot of stuff that's just very generally useful. Crap. Yeah, Seaton does have a lot of stuff, definitely. And he's funny. Uh, I started watching him when he was like an absolute noob and I was already in Endgame because I found him kind of entertaining. So I max out my 5 star Stark, Spidey, or max 4 star Ghost, I held him to the resources, Ghost. Always go Ghost. Katie, did you say it in the podcast last night, chatting or just listening? What did I say? Did you stay? Oh no, uh, I did not stay that long, Billy. Uh, I passed out, honestly. <clears throat> and no, actually on my channel, I hardly make anything from streams, like if you would account, let's say, my revenue split from streams, uh, one sec, I hope the signal gets back, one sec, yeah, if I would account to the re revenue split from like streams to videos, videos make well over like 85% of my income on the channel. Because for a reason or another, I just don't get like nearly kind of like relevant amount of super chats for it to make it worthwhile streaming kind of thing. I would do myself a big favor if I stopped streaming altogether and just made more videos kind of thing. But I enjoy streaming, so. All the right, have more subscribers and make more money on YouTube, but honestly, how the best content has done. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Entertainers like Seaton will always do better than tryhards. Did you just call me tryhard? Why well, prefer 4 star over 5 star? I prefer better champ over worse champion. When it comes to the most content, people are too driven into amount of stars. You should be looking at your champions and your champion abilities much more than the stars, as far as I'm concerned anyways. Do you get the 2 to 4 star Warlock Crystal? I get 3 to 5 star Warlock Crystal. Haha. <laughs> Just a little bit of both. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I do realize I'm, for instance, I don't think I'm anywhere near as entertaining or charismatic as Seaton is. All props to him for that, because I don't think I'm, like, yeah, particularly kind of presentable or relatable figure. I don't know. But I do think that there is something worth watching in my channel, though. Turn up the volume on that sexy accent. <clears throat> no, I'm too shy. Also, my vo voice is going weird. Hey, man, you have one of the best contents. Also, you have sexy accent. Thanks, dude. You know, the facts and the way you explain things or even just showcase fun stuff is just enjoyable to me and I do prefer it in over many others. Thanks dude. Thanks my friend. Swaky to you. Swaky to you too. I like your honesty. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks. A very entertaining uh, time here because I came back smart enough. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that is true answer. I timed you out twice and you're still here so. That, that, that means something. Not sure good or bad, but it means something. It surely means something. It's alright, add TV. But yeah, today you are late. Then again, I don't really have a time limit. So, so long as people are still here enjoying. Actually, I should probably finish up and try and make a video. I also will do a rank up probably tomorrow. Because I have some spare tier 12 office. Like Shawn Mendes versus Justin Bieber. Uh, 
I mean, I have heard about Justin Bieber, but who is Sean? <laughs> As I'm not really all that much into pop culture. If it wouldn't be for my girlfriend, I couldn't name more than one Kardashian. <laughs> Three-star Hulkbuster Arsenal. <laughs> Bro, sorry, like, oh wait, ah, the signal's going. Besides, uh, things like that you do right now, three-star Master Mode just shows that we're skill and commitment can you get you in the game. Thanks, uh, yeah, it's also fun to be honest, because otherwise you just blitz through the content and you don't really play the game, you just button mash and smack people up. Oh, <laughs> that means you didn't get mad and I didn't get pissed off, so that's a good thing. Yeah, obviously. I only, like, did it, obviously, because you're, like, a regular and I actually kind of, like, get your sense of humor and where you're coming from kind of thing. Okay. Probably shouldn't have thrown the level one, but whatever. Memory oldness makes for successful. Memory what? Sorry, what's what that Teddy? I'm nearly done with this prestige bullshit. I'm looking uh, for AW rank ups. Any suggestions? What to target? For me personally. Current, like, actually, I, I think I will make a video soon, but like, yes, I can give suggestions. Currently, the best champions in AW uh, by far seem to be Omega, because Omega can deal with a lot of these kind of like annoying matchups there. Quake, Quake is definitely a fantastic champion. Uh, so it's basically Quake, Omega, Namor can be used for some of the stuff on like the left pass and interactive damage, like those taunts and stuff like that, uh, which is also kind of fits with your prestige. So it's basically Quake, Ghost, Name, or Omega. They're probably the champions I see used more of, most often. Warlock is good as well for certain things. And obviously then there are more niche matchups, but it kind of depends what you have and what you do. But for me, Quake fills so much of my problems in AW. Why isn't Thing beyond God tier? Why would he be? Because of you, I started doing 3-star master as well, I can't get through the last chapters in EQ, but it helped me a lot, especially experience new champs. Yeah, exactly. You can play the new champs and you can actually play them, because if you use kind of like 5-star rank 4 in master mode, you just over in a couple of hits and it's not interesting. So if Seaton and then the regular came in here and said Ghost is better than Quake, I wouldn't time him out, but I would definitely tell him off. I'm using Ghost mostly, Void maxing. Oh yeah, Void's obviously always there as well. What's happening with my signal? Okay, we're back. Yeah, Void and Ghost definitely up, up top there as well. Thinking of Warlock with having any specific... Yeah, Warlock's great because you have like all these mutants or like Sinisters and Sabertooth and stuff like that and Havocs and he just does so good. <laughs> your channel, your rules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, let's get into that with Thor. Domino Trinity, we don't have, we have like hardly any. Honestly, we have hardly anybody use Domino now. Hoo hoo, we have Swashbuckler and Mars coming in. Dude, thank you so much, guys. One sec, I'll read them up in a sec. One was just boo, why Why are you booing me? What What did I do to you? Gotta go stay for one hour. <laughs> Alright, Ruby, I'll see you, dude. Thank you very much for checking out the stream. Curtis solid, yeah, Curtis is a solid champ, but most of the people have kind of like learned tricks around him. However, he's really good for those Aegis, heavy and Aegis intercept lands and stuff. So yeah, he's good. 
So swashbuckler coming in with 400 of these things. Let me just do the comparison. I should know this by now. The Indian rupees uh, two USD, but 400 equals six bucks around current exchange rate. So you're gonna be the legend of the day. And then I have to check out Zars. <laughs> what is that? So let me just quickly update this. See something good. So, haha. <laughs> Picker upper of the day. I definitely picked me up. So I'm gonna round that as six bucks. And then we need to check out the czars. I need to keep remembering these things because these are the ones I see quite often. But thank you very much, Mars. Definitely greatly appreciate it. See, you made me smile. And the czar is. That'll be 250, so I'm gonna write down as 250. <laughs> but yeah, definitely huge thank you to Swashbuckler and Mars. Both of you guys are amazing. Much love. And let's get back racing. I would super try and buy it. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. <laughs> I'm sure somebody loves you. If nobody loves you, then you probably should reflect on that and why is that. <laughs> but I'm sure somebody does, so everything's okay. Well, when I first get my job, I can promise you I will donate you. I know it's necessary, but just uh, you deserve it. Ah, uh, thanks, Devil Boy. Uh, I definitely greatly appreciate it. What's up, buddy? Sorry about the last night. Sky was being. It's alright, hey, Rob. Don't worry about it too much. Probably was kind of like a sign that it's okay. <laughs> okay, so let 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 let's invisible. There we go. Let's just get to that level one first. Well, close to level one before she's at level one. There we go. Sorted. Armor shattered. She's done for. She's done for, guys. Hashtag apple juice. Well, it, it was a nice apple juice. Ah, that, that's heavy always kind of push, yeah? Oh yeah, 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 one second, I'm gonna get, get to it. My bad, I'm just... I was so excited to see Super Chat in this stream that completely kind of threw me. <laughs> oh my god. See, I'm just messing up now. Okay, let, let's clutch this out, let's clutch this out. There we go. Just 20 year old university boy, fair enough. Uh, no rush, long kick. Yeah, we're done there. MS 2.0, yeah, that's strangely correct. Medusa or call to rank 5? Have a rank 5 gem plus awakening gem. Already have Corvus and Captain Marvel movie. At rank five, keep up the great work. Thanks for the help with your YouTube and line. Right, uh, Diesel Venom. I think you'd actually benefit more from ranking Venom than any of these guys. That would be my go-to pick. If you're dead determined on Cal or Medusa, I'd still wait. Guys, I'd rank Cal. Probably. Uh, no, then then just do Medusa, dude. Uh, then then yeah, go Medusa because you don't know how Cal is gonna look like after the nerf. Uh, or wait, probably most reasonable is wait. Venom. I'm not either. Have got Venom at rank four. Perfect. Do Venom instead. Venom's gonna help you out more. Trust me. Uh, than Medusa or Cal at rank five. Just because he has a buff still, he can provide the spideys evades, and we have a lot of spidermans everywhere. Also, Venom can deal with like havocs and stuff. And again, I think that Medusa can be fine at rank 4 for what she is best at, which is dealing with robots. So yeah, I'd do Venom. 
<laughs> this is kind of funny. I made myself. I will hard aid becoming a member, dude. Thank you so much. I uh, definitely appreciate it, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Those were some clutch intercepts. Thanks, dude. What's up, single assassin? How are you doing? I'll let you go. What are you my profile? Sung by Dorky Dig Dido. What? Let you go. <laughs> well, uh, Medusa is garbage prestige anyways. Cull has okay prestige. So if you need prestige, then wait or do Cull. But yeah, Medusa's prestige is still like under 10k, which is horrible. So... If you were considering Medusa before, it's pretty much no different from Venom there. But yesterday I said we'll open my first 6 star and I went chorus and you say it may happen and today I got him. Dude, awesome! Congratulations, mate. Congratulations on your amazing pull. You wanna go back here and watch last second half football match? Alright. <laughs> Fair enough of Dynam Akron. Of Dynam. Okay, so oh, no nodes here. I'm just gonna. Oh, that's Deadpool this guy. MC, yeah, right up full Bohemian Rhapsody for sure. Why not? That should be fun. Uh, but yeah, what I kind of like made myself chuckle before about uh, was the guy asked me a kind of straight up question: who to rank five Medusa or Cal? And I, I somehow ended up straight going straight down Dihawenu. Uh, so, I don't know, it's kind of funny, because, like, you know, it, it was kind of like a multiple choice question, A or B, and I'm like, but why not C? <laughs> Should he use Awakening German Venom? Uh, yeah, he kind of benefits quite a bit from being duped. I mean, he's good and duped, but, especially if you can take him rank 5, dude, those brown stars are so ugly. Just do it. <laughs> At the point where you have as many champions like at rank 5, those Awakening Gems aren't like that important anyways. <laughs> Good thing Mom's version I know. I mean, I, I have come to appreciate Venom more and more. How do you from that? I think he's also quite... yeah. I do... I was very critical to Venom initially, but... I, th I think he kind of has gotten a solid place pretty much everywhere around Endgame recently. After his buff, the thing is, after his buff he wasn't particularly great or needed anywhere, but since he has been doing better. When I'm good, <laughs> probably. How do how you guys feel about using Generic Awakening Gem for Sunspot for Prestige? Do it. I, I do it. That's what Generic Awakening Gems are for, for whatever you need most in the game, whether it's some specific amount of utility, or prestige in this case. Uh, so yeah, I did. I, I used Generic Awakening Gem on Captain Marvel movie, quite, like, and I didn't even know too much about her then, I did it mainly for prestige, prestige and then I started to like her. Have you done a video on Venom? Yes, yes I have done a video on Venom, there is a rev Venom review video. Kenny's dead, what's up Kenny? Dead Kenny, like, well, what's up? He used Generic on Blade, that's fair enough. Many people did. <laughs> yeah, kind of, John. They killed Kenny? Those bastards. Oh crud. Well, it's only Nick Fury. He likes getting smacked anyways. Come on. Whoops, that, that, that was a heavy smack. <laughs> like, whoopsie. KD1 gets it. Of course I do. Kenny's dead is alive. <laughs> yeah, it is a bit of a head scratcher. Yeah, I know, sweet. Uh, it sucks, sweet retire for sure. Uh, did not like expect or see that coming. I did like his videos a lot. 
he's also so good sweetie like without trying to sound like too silly but dude like the patience and the amount of work he must have put in he's either like naturally the most skilled player or one of the most kind of determined and driven, play driven players in the game because for those of who don't particularly know doing well over 1000k hit combo like in labyrinth of legends it typically doesn't happen in your first fight like you know what i mean that the weight catches you statistically for you to be able to kind of react to all the weights or not how awaits and you in the wrong moment and stuff like that it's gonna get you right that's gonna be like one of 20 fights maybe or one of 15 fights you can actually do that you can actually get to those thousand hits and just drop that stuff uh so that's what he had to do he had to he must have spent like days trying to record some of those videos and that takes absolutely nothing away from his skill because realistically you have to accept that mistakes happen and especially in like a weight and stuff like that things happen out of control so I, I i do respect the guy for what he's done and what he's doing yeah sweet is retired yeah that is quite sad he left like all the chats and stuff as well this month's uncollected is in fact super easy barely inconvenience which is quite tight because we might be doing this uncollected with three stars possibly give me the duck shine yeah pitch meeting reference are tight yes for sure there <laughs> no there is absolutely no way to get back his persistent charge which kind of sucks which i think is a kind of a hole in the character mechanic i think you should be able to somehow get it back via level three or something like you know Sabert with a dupe that's the only bit i read so i assume there is some piece of information that i didn't read or i'm missing Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. Just die. There we go. For Nick, yeah. So I have to choose which fights I take to. Save it with Havoc. Uh, I take Havoc or Save it with any day. I'm not too kind of. Exp I, I, I'll be honest, I just don't use my Save it really. Occasionally he goes on defense, he's obviously good for synergy to make, but typically I just don't use him. Don't have any particular need for him then. It's hard to use Quake? Nah, it's not too hard to use Quake, you just need to get used to it, mate. Honestly, like, once you get used to it, it just... Nothing special. <laughs> the way you play Quake. Ah, but I did mess up there, though, but, uh... You just need practice, man, that's all it is. Can I show my... Hands? There is a video showing that, dude. I made a How To Quake video with finger cam ages ago like quite a while ago i might need to redo it how is right? don't listen to anything in global chat by anyone honestly do yourself a favor Listening to what global chat says is kind of like going to Arkham Asylum and asking for political advice No apple juice today? No The boss are quite straightforward especially how how this encounter and there are plenty. Yep for sure this this month's easy When your alliance member opens the six star ghost uh, and he doesn't know how to use her, so he asks you, but you're also learning. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I mean, like, get there together. Even better. I'll listen to your advice because I see you have a ton of awesome clips. Thanks. Auditor's good as he has mad damage? Yeah. There is an Auditor rank 5 5 star on Suicide's footage on Lizard's channel. Uh, and I also contacted Lizard and it turns out it's not Lizard, so she put me in contact with 
whoever owned the tour and uh, I asked him to record some footage for me. So I will probably put a video together about maxed out OG tour. Global chat recommends ground wisdom for insights into the game. Best things to be posted. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's about the level of sanity you can expect from that place. So yeah, and just stay away from global, honestly. It's a cesspool of misery and inadequate information and ill-informed opinions. Nothing good has come out from global and like broad aspect of the game anyways. So yeah, just, just don't. First rule, thanks to your seat, turn on global chat, yeah. Honestly, the m most stuff I know global for or about is that there are always people selling fake units or something like Log on this side, get 800 free units. Or there are some teenagers uh, looking for girls desperately. There's like, are you a girl? Are you a girl? Are you a girl? Or like, I'm looking for a girl. <laughs> kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know, global is just hilariously funny kind of thing. <laughs> 1% health. How clutch was that? 1% health. <laughs> Not bad. Well, right, I'll sleep for the last hour of stream. I gotta go. Alright, for I see you, dude. Uh, thank you very much for watching my stream for at least an hour. <laughs> um, hope you sleep well. Okay, I think you're gonna, yeah. I think it's probably gonna be the last path for today. <laughs> Comment you made uh, about Quake and Ghost like Messi and Ronaldo, uh, where one of the best players in the world, but the other one was like out of this world with the best explanation of Quake's potential. Thank you, dude. I, I also think it fits quite well. Been watching from start. Perfect. Thanks, dude. Global is always stupid, I just focus on the game more. Yeah, I, I don't have global enabled, I never read global, I have no interest in global. <laughs> Do players send me crystal openings? Uh, no, not really. I mean, sometimes they let me know they pull and stuff like that, but like I have said in the past, I have absolutely no interest in posting other people crystal openings on my channel. I don't particularly enjoy recording my crystal openings anyways but that is the type of video you kind of record because it will always get views and it's kind of like easy to make but I, that's not what i want my channel to be about kind of stuff so if i ha if i am having kind of like second thoughts about recording my crystal openings i definitely will not post somebody else's unless there is some sort of very special circumstance or something maybe like as a part of something else like symbolic but not just like a, this is a crystal opening kind of thing it doesn't talk much it's all right for you don't have to just, just being here enjoying it it's cool how about five star shards do you get weekly seems like you open five star feature crystal weekly i don't know i never count but it depends on what kind of events are in game i honestly have not counted how many i get about skateboard dude, as I see you are master of him, uh, got skill gems from rank 3 to rank 5, thinking where to use since uh, coming up to lol 2, don't have a gun. Uh, skateboard dude, from bottom of my heart, absolutely honest, is not like your mainstream champion. He, he however, builds a lot of kind of like niche utilities. He's not gonna be like, let, let, let's say even for variant 2. He does variant 2 fine, because for whatever reason, his level 1s cannot be glanced and you gain your power on like... Uh, Dexes and parries, and he can do a lot of tricky fights there, like that uh, symbio adoptoid boss or whatever, right? Because you can basically just make sure that he never evades. And you can like drop your heavies and stuff like that, so it's all good there. And And... There are so many kind of like different weird fights in the contest that he actually does well that people don't realize. The problem with the skateboard bo skateboard guy is that you have to go kind of like full steam ahead with him. 
how to have like the full sig, full everything to kind of like make sure your build is trigger. So, and also he's not like the easiest champ to pilot in a fight, so you do need to be quite good. Let's start YouTube drama tell Seat and KD1's calling him out for easy chief wins. <laughs> no, no, well, you can tell what you want. I mean, I, I have absolutely nothing. I, I post crystal openings. People do it, like, you know why? Because it's easy. It's easy, like, to make a review video on average, you can't spend several hours recording some footage thinking where he's good and piecing it together, watching it over the flat. Or I can sit down and open a crystal and film my reaction, whatever. It takes 15 minutes, there's video bang, done. And honestly, I still do it because it's so dang easy, but it's not what I want my channel to be about. Would you rather rank 4 to 5 star and awaken Sunspot or 5 star awaken Voodoo? Uh, I'd probably wait and sit on the decision. Venom's Dark or Venom? Venom. For me, definitely Venom. Venom's Dark has higher ceiling, but a lot more kind of like demand of energy when it comes to ramping him up. I think Venom's overall better. Wearing too ready? Yes, you're wearing too ready if you play well. You got the sigil back when you're getting rid of it? I did not get it back. It's about to expire in two days. Uh, I just had it refreshed like a couple days before I decided that I'm not going to renew it, unfortunately. Top everything I got common, KT wants a seat in scrub like KT wants is an endgame player, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, you guys are a-holes. <laughs> now I'm going to go play with myself. Are you going to stream tomorrow? Yes, probably. Wait, my girlfriend's coming back. Most likely I am still. Maybe. <laughs> I can't promise, but I might not be because my girlfriend's coming back. <laughs> no, Seaton can play. Seaton's a good player now, though. I will not say that he can't play. He used to be a lot worse, though, but, like, last kind of, like, year, year and a half, he has improved so much. Like, now nobody can kind of, like, bash at him that he's a scrub, I think. Definitely does play quite well now. <laughs> I'm gonna go play with myself. Well, ain't that the dream? <laughs> Guys, remember, if you like this stream, hit that like button. Yeah, that would be greatly appreciated, as always. Come on. Nah, this is quite risky. Risky a bit. Get shocking insights. Click here. <laughs> okay, do you want to see that works where Vladimir puts it? <laughs> Maybe he does. Who knows? I'm gonna go. Uh, well... No, oh my cosmic list goes Corvus, Hyperion, Captain Marvel movie, Venom, Medusa. I think. Yeah. Getting ignored? You're not ignored on TV. Where? What? Uh, what? What is the last thing you said? Did I ignore you? Sorry if I did, but. I'd never try and ignore you, man. And then the season has like gold medal, yeah. Hype about Captain Marvel movie? Yeah, I, I, for I, overall play and overall use, I probably value hype about Cap Marvel. I mean, Cap Marvel is fantastic as well, but hype is just such a good workhorse. Do a crystal opening while drunk? No. Sidon is a KT1. Sidon is a secret Russian agent who got Trump elected and is hijacking Brexit. Scroll down for juicy details. How much do you think it costs to get two six star champs to SIG 200? Uh, more than I would feel comfortable talking about in terms of video game. It costs a lot, dude. It costs a lot. Thing is, though, it can vary immensely because some accounts can have like a huge lucky streak or whatever, and some. You might spend million and never get there, I don't know. Just got hired again after leaving for workplace, I didn't realize. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome, single. And yeah, thank you very much for that member thing. Oh wait, you're not a member now. Where did your member tag go, single assassin? <laughs> Uh, 
Oh yeah. MCOC fake news would be awesome. I'm really waiting for KT to piece together a new MCOC news segment. Those are so funny. Oh, we got hit. Well, I mean, I'm Captain Ob yesterday, but whatever. There you go. We could watch even he's pretty good. Yeah, see, see this quite good. Always member but two months without pay. It's all right, single assassin. Life's hard sometimes. I totally get it, dude. Don't worry. It's I'm just messing, dude. It's fine. Thanks for becoming a member in the first place, anyway. Metal Sonic dude the fight was absolutely good, just beautiful. Yeah, he's he's cool. He's a good player. Absolutely destroyed Seat and yeah, he destroyed everybody there. Is there a group chat where top alliances just chat? Yeah. There is such a place, yes. There is a group group chat for everything. There is group chat where it's exclusively top alliances. There are many group chats where there are many kind of top alliance peeps in. There is a group chat for YouTubers. There is a group chat for X, Y, and Z. There are like many, many group chats. But yeah, there are these also kind of like elitist snob group chats kind of. Chat about war cheating? Uh, I don't know. Not in it if it is one. But every chat kind of becomes about. Oh crap. Every chat kind of becomes about war cheating. Like, it's getting kind of absurd. Uh. In a point like, oh, I didn't die. Cool. Like, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, like, it's just silly about Lance War. You have all my respect. Thanks, dude. Which one of your rank fires would you sell for a symbiote free? Modok. You can take Modok away <laughs> and don't care, want, or like that guy. He's fat, he's ugly, he farts, and they smell, and I feel bad while using Modok, which I never do, anyways. <laughs> Take that one away. Is there a group chat for people who go decide that KT1 is Cowell's pilot? I have seen those. <laughs> I'm, there might be, who knows. KT is a bit off from stream. How play the game for a while. Looking soon to try Master Rally. Any tips to focus on? Need to try it at least once. Uh, Looking for Master Ali, uh, if you want to drop me a message, I can try and kind of help you out. Uh, but honestly, I don't kind of like stick around too much in these chats anymore. Uh, just because I'm too busy, honestly, I have no time. Like, I'm in too many chats, and if I pop in somewhere, I just typically kind of go... Like, like you know, if I pop in somewhere, I just go like say hello and stuff. <laughs> oh my crap, this is gonna suck. Need to get my level one. Yeah, that worked. Let's go. I know she can drop her level one on me, but I have the away charges, so I don't care. See? That worked out. <laughs> Have I ever used Discord for MCOC? Yeah, I am in like UMCOC, Discord and a few other ones. I don't often use Discord, but I do have it on my phone. Justice for Modok? No. Modok can go and F himself. Try to bully the new champ. Well, what's wrong about that? Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna be done for today, guys. Uh, we shall be on for nearly three hours. Is there anybody that we might potentially go and say hello to? Who else is streaming today? Right now, Enzo is streaming. Let's go and say hello to Enzo. He obviously recently got back from New York Comic Con. 
It's quite an awesome guy. He's in Fort Loki. Uh, I think he's really chill dude as well. So let's go say hello. Let's go check out his channel. Uh, and yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, let's go in with hashtag nerf Enzo. And yeah, that will do me for today. What line ID you got? We come from the same country. Uh, my line ID is the Kiryu, by the way. But yeah, uh, anyways, guys, uh, that will do for today. Uh, thank you very much to Swashbuckler, to Mars, to Hare for becoming a member. You guys are awesome. Definitely a good pick me up for today. And yeah, I'm gonna catch you guys soon. See ya.